We welcome Patrice O'Neill to the show. I like to say and we could be happier. You. I like to say thank you today. It's a busy day, man. There's a lot going on in the world. We just did about an hour on the VMAs. We're talking about football. Very interesting, the VMA conversation. Oh, my God. I was into that. Kanye. I was listening to Steven Spielberg. I mean, uh, Stephen Stephen King. King. Trashing us out of nowhere. Stephen King is, what's that, what's that guy? He has, that's CNN? No, oh, that's Larry King. That's Larry King. Stephen King's the horror writer. The horror writer? Okay, Stephen King. You read any of his books growing up? Never read them. Why? They were always a movie. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Fucking his... He, I, writes, he writes like two-page letters that end up movies. <laughs> My problem with Stephen King, he gets a little wordy at times. From a short story. A little wordy. You know. A short story to him is what? 450 yeah. pages? All his, <laughs> all his best stuff was um not horror. Like his his movies that end up being good, mm -hmm. Shawshank, Shawshank and and uh, Misery maybe, but it's like they good, take man. and and it's those ones that they take from those short stories. Like I said, it's like this thing was nothing, nothing, and they but Stand by Me was another one that was a uh, biggie, boring, and Chris Christine, you know they Christine, he made Christine. a lot of fucking movies, man. So why does he hate you guys? I mi I missed the well, first yeah, twenty. We're pretty minutes. much like radio hacks. Speaking of which, uh, all of radio just taking us on today, and we'll get into that in a second. It's, oh yeah, yeah. Wow, wait, we got some you hear crazy things being said about us today. It's crazy. This is what Stephen King said. It's in a uh, pop. He does a pop culture column, and even though I I hate his fucking guts now, he still does a good job with this fucking pop I culture. I take the thing. personal like um, hatred for you out of it. Is he? Is it good? Yeah, I, if he said it about some other fucking disc jockeys, oh, we'd be he, laughing. Ah, he kind of, <laughs> he kind of made a point, but the problem was he lumped us in with all the, uh, all the other like assholes. morning zoo shows. I think we've proven ourselves by this point that we're, we're, we're above morning radio. Zoo? We like to say we're above radio. That just, and people are like, what does that fucking mean? We really are above all other how radio you, how shows. Do you, how do you describe morning zoo? Just the voices. Morning Zoo is the fake voices. The the every at at eight o'clock every morning they'll have the call with the guy that makes believe he's a plumber and yeah you know, it, it's just that type predictable, of predictable very hacky set times to do things. Beep boop 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 beep boop boop. Okay, our contest lines are uh, now lit and we're gonna everything has to be overproduced because they don't really have anything going on. So yeah. if they overproduce it, you might trick the listeners into thinking they're hearing something important. So Stephen King takes on um, radio a little bit, uh, and this is where he mentions us. He writes, this is in the latest issue of Entertainment Weekly, coming out very soon. Where are the DJs like Cousin Brucie or, listen closely to this, Patrice, because I don't get this one, or Carol James of WWDC, who is credited with playing I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles first in America. Hmm. That's his claim to fame that he played a record oh, first in America. <laughs> sometimes when you listen to stuff, you got your brain and your ears are ready for more. Uh, yeah, Is that, that it? And then it just stops. That's it. Well, then he talks about us. But I, I want to stop there because we're, we're trying to figure out why Cousin Brucey is important uh, in radio. And made a good point. Like, listen to Cousin Brucey now. Absolutely not important whatsoever. It's more a nostalgia thing. But when he was doing mm -hmm. it, I guess it was important for the time, if that makes sense. Yeah. And that's why we don't really understand it. Because he didn't really say much in between the records. We don't understand people that don't say much in between the records. Why they're important. If they, and and also was there program directors back then? Like that well that's Well you get to choose what's a hit song back then. That's the one thing we did give them credit for, that there were a lot of DJs that actually turned you on to music because they were picking their own music for a while. Mm. But that's just not the case anymore. Even cousin Brucey's not allowed to just sit there and go, Well, I'm going to play this like obscure song from mm -hmm. blah blah because it it doesn't fit the format that he's on it. So are they saying this this person created? Uh, she's the one that's created. A, we don't even know if it's a she. There's two R's and two L's in the name, so yeah, it might so be a guy. Could be a guy. I don't even know, and I know radio. Carol James. A I guy. I, I don't know. What's well, a guy like Carol O'Connor? But uh, that played what? That played a song. He played. Yeah. I want to hold your hand first in America, the Beatles song that started it all. But so what do you got the first FedEx because it was all, it was already that's you. What we were saying. it was should everywhere have, should have been the guy that handed him the fucking record <laughs> and, that and was the first guy that pulled pushed the button right yeah. thank you that's what we're saying and and uh, what was it uh, the Beatles were already hitting all over the world yeah. and so and, it wasn't even so taking it wasn't in taking a chance so Stephen King. So he hates you for because for, Cousin Brucey plays he, music? He wants guys like Cousin Brucey and this guy, Carol James, that, you know, played I Want to Hold Your Hand, First in America. And then he uh, writes, 
How culturally important are the gabbling personalities? And he puts personalities in quotation marks, which I, uh, which I agree with, by the way, uh, who make prank calls and own morning drive time. And that's the morning zoos that we're talking about here. Mm-hmm. Prank calls. It's, it's, you know, we used to do real prank calls where we're like, holy shit, we're going to get fucking in trouble. But for I'm that. becoming that guy, too, though. The, the, the guy that Stephen King is becoming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, we were I'm, talking about I'm, that. Yeah, we were talking too. about yeah, that, too. I'm that guy we're too, trying yeah. to hold on to understanding culture. I think we all lose in the end. But you try to hang on as long as you can. You're, you as be, long you as become, you can. You become irre- irrelevant. Right. Um, like, like, just the fact is that every mm. boy, every man mm. under 25 can type. <laughs> yeah. if, if, growing <laughs> up, if you typed, when I grew up, you was a faggot. You were Immediately. <laughs> you were a sister. <laughs> Immediately, uh, you fucking pussy. What do you want to be a secretary? Right. So there was no reason to know how to type. When none. Growing up. None. But now I'm irrelevant. In, in case I had to go and actually get a job in the workforce, mm-hmm. and I told them I can't type. Right. I'm I'm a fucking dinosaur. They would so, look at you like, what do you mean you can't type? So Stephen King is becoming irrelevant right where he needs to because his books have to be by now. Uh, no one reads anymore. I don't even understand why there's bookstores. There's a few at the yeah, at the at the supermarket, there's mm-hmm. a book place, and then there's uh, Barnes and Noble. But it, it, he's a you know he's a guy that no one would care about. And I mean, I would you, love you to understand what he's saying. I would love to know what uh, what uh, where reading is at these days, as far as you know, books. I, I guess what I bought. I, I I I like reading books. Okay, but lately, I <laughs> I just don't have time because there's so much other stuff to read on online. You're busy with your <laughs> phone. You know what I mean? Like. I bought the Art of War by Sun Tzu on iTunes. Yeah, for your Kindle. Joe Joe Pagnitalia, Joe Joe <laughs> Joe Pantaglia, or Joe Joe Montaigne is reading Sun Tzu's Art of War to me. So what the <laughs> fuck am I reading that shit for? Right. So then he says this. So I agree with the gabbling personalities who make prank calls and no morning drive time. And I'm like, right on, Stephen K. Right on. We feel your pain. We've been yelling and screaming about this. And then he ends with this. Let's put it this way. As far as I'm concerned, you could take Opie and Anthony and shove them where the sun doesn't shine. Why you guys? I know. Thank you. you. That's why I'm example. confused. Because up to that point, I Which absolutely could be a compliment. agree with Let's them. be honest. That Let's take this and, and be... Nah, he's lumping us in with this well, whole morning minute, zoo though. shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They, he, 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 of course he doesn't know the names of anybody else. Maybe he just sees you as the top level. He, he grouped you in. Mm-hmm. But you are a name enough for him to fucking uh, say. We, we you understand like, what I'm saying? But well, we like to think we're way in front. Well, get off your yeah. own dick, motherfucker. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that fucking, be... you're, you're presumptuous. <laughs> maybe you're not, you motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus, could... Mr. You know Ego. You want? Leave Stephen you know King what? alone. You're, you could be right about that, too, Patrice. <laughs> you could be right about that. But we like to feel like we're way ahead of it. I want to think I have two million dollars and people should come see me when I go out to perform. Yeah, yeah really? Right. <laughs> you knocked me down a peg and I, I certainly deserve it. You're right. Jesus, you, you should have said, how dare you in that fucking speech. Yeah, I know. Leave him alone. We don't, we, we don't like, we really don't pat ourselves on the back, trust me. But oh. some, something like this, it, it gets your blood boiling. Like, what the fuck? Let's be honest. He is, he's done. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he'll write you in as a fucking character in one of his books. Yeah, that'd you guys be nice. Are, you guys be shitty radio guys. Evil ghosts. Yeah. Or, that, or just the, like... The ba- <laughs> he was listening to bad radio. Opie and Anthony, I think it was. Like, he'll fucking write that down <laughs> in, in his book. It's... The radio. Evil radio. Evil radio. With a clown's nose is be on the front <laughs> court <laughs> in a house right. with a microphone. <laughs> uh, he puts us in some horseshit novel, All is Forgiven. You kidding me? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can say whatever the fuck you Are want. you serious? <laughs> a fucking ABC, a miniseries with right. Stephen King? Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> and then this uh, segs, ni- segs nicely into what we want to talk about next. E-Rock brought to my attention that some radio show uh, out of Baltimore just decided to start trashing us. Yeah. A show yeah. I've never heard of. This is pretty It's always pretty a show pretty... you've never heard of. Always. And uh, I-, I want the backstory on this, why they're trashing us. Their phone number is 800-767-1098. Someone might uh, find that number uh, mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. 1-800-767-1098.
I think I know. I gave E Rock a, a, a cue to run down the hall. Is he running down the hall? Oh my is God! He? No. Is he? I, I, well, first is he? you'd first you'd see the water looking like Jurassic Park, <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> oh no, well Steve is. <laughs> No, Steve's kind of trotting. No Iraq though. Why? Iraq. I don't see Iraq. You, you help I don't me. Even see Iraq. You brought this to our attention. Why wouldn't you be, you know, close by so we could uh get the backstory? Ugh. I don't want Steve's version of the backstory. Hi Steve, where's Iraq? He's in the back. He's in the back. In the office? I was back yeah. there, by the way. He so was, why isn't he coming down? Because he said he sent me down to give you the backstory. No, I, I like Steve was handling all the backstory, by the way. Huh? I was I was in the office watching the whole thing. Steve was was uh, vigorously handling right, the right, backstory. You can help out, Rock. What's what's the deal with this show in Baltimore? Ninety eight Rock. I think we used to have some friends on that station for a while. Yeah, Mark and Lopez or something like that. But they're gone, so it's this new show. And uh, apparently, somebody on their show listens to our replay as they go in to oh, do their show okay. in the morning. Nice. All right, so they're a fan. Yeah. <clears throat> Mentioned it. What's the problem with being a fan of our show if you work for another radio show? Well, apparently the hosts of the show weren't happy that the producer of the show listens to us. Ah. Why? They're not on yet. Yeah, who cares? Who oh. cares what you listen to before you fucking come right. in? By the time we found out and uh, we checked their stream, we only got about a minute of it before they went to break. What, they were trashing us, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another fucking jealous radio show. It's great. It's so great to listen to, though. Just jealousy. We, I, I don't even know these guys. They certainly know who we are. Nobody does. Yeah. Dude, that Time's happens little... when you go to satellite. You become, I mean, it just... Yeah. There were moments where I laughed out loud on the way. They're hilarious. Don't get me wrong. Opie and Anthony are hilarious. Right. I used to li Hold on. Right, so who, what's the problem? Who is this? Is it Danny Bonaducci? Is it Rocco? Is it fucking Bubba? Is it uh, Maxwell? Maxwell? Which, which radio voice, same radio voice fucking guy is this? Holy shit! Uh, that whole voice thing where they talk like this and punt. It's is it man cow? Is it what, what's with the fucking? All right, look. Every it, time. By the way, this isn't a replay, people. I know this isn't a best of a it's, replay. <laughs> this is another fucking guy it's, that has this same stupid fucking voice. Instead of being jealous, why don't you listen up and learn a little something here? You're not standing out in radio because you, you have the radio voice that we talk about all the time, yeah. like I just said. Hey. There's a million guys that sound uh, exactly like bit. you because you're using the voice. Stop using the voice, first of all. I used to listen to him all the time right. in New York. I just like it better. Sounds exactly when, like rock. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Or Bubba. It's cleaned up, you mean? Or not Cobb. cleaned up. It's just... Or when like there's a little bit of... It's harder to be witty without using profanity. Yeah, some course. restraint, some is subtle... It, is, is it really? Because we, we, we were on the fucking radio, regular radio for years, and we did both at the same time, satellite and terrestrial radio, <sighs> where we were under a lot of restrictions, more than you are, by the way. Let I'll me tell say you something. that. We were under the most restrictions ever. Yeah. Uh, witty is overrated. It, yeah. this, okay, clever... Witty. Motherfuckers have somehow moved clever and witty into funny. Yeah. Um, just because I can understand it, and get that you're trying to what you're trying to do doesn't mean a fucking thing. When That's true. when when I was a kid, you you was funny as as much as you could be. And I'm gonna tell you, fuck sometimes makes things funnier. Yeah, just asshole, fucking. douche, cocksucker. Right. When we grew up, we would use words, swears, it makes and it would it make funnier. things as funny as it could possibly be. Watch an R-rated movie and a line where they cut it out on TV isn't as funny as the way the line was written where the guy goes, you know, fuck. Yeah. Says, I, 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 fuck. I, would, I wouldn't put the premium on clever and wit. It's yeah. just it's, like to say that and then get offended by it. It's, it's just like, yeah. no, it's a, you know, it's, it's a horse it's a, shit a, argument. I, I'm not getting offended it's a, it's by a, the fact that they're saying out. it. It's a cop out thing that's been used so many times. Oh, this, that. We did both. We did that and we did satellite. And I guarantee if these fucking assholes went on satellite radio, every other word coming out of their mouth would be shit, fuck, oh, yeah. this, cunt. Oh, you know, yeah. just, you, what are you going to sit here and just do a regular oh. show? You talk like you talk to your oh. friends in normal life. And the fact that somebody would say it's not, it's harder to be funny without swearing is telling you mm -hmm. that you're. <laughs> You're working to be funny. Like, you're not, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not just able right. to be. So with my constraints yeah. of language and everything else, I'm still able to be. I can be I'm, funny. You're a, it's, just whatever. All right, well, yeah, let's whatever. continue. And I don't know the dudes, but it's like, you know. Just, Dude, I don't, I don't, that's never, never heard it of It just stinks too. of jealousy. We don't even know you. Listen. How that much does that was? suck that we don't even know you?
Yeah, yeah, some restraint, course. some subtlety. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is a guy's show, though. I think what that format does, it just takes, it knocks creativity down a little bit. Yeah. Just by nature. Look, if I had a satellite show, I'd be the same way. Oh, it's a different yeah, palette that. to work from. Yeah. Uh, well, hello there. There's, least, they look like the, the Bizarro uh, U's. A different yeah, palette. Yeah, a little bit. It's a different like, palette. It's like fat face Opie <laughs> <laughs> and... And like old school, <laughs> old school 1996 Anthony. And then Jim Norton in there a And then bit. Jim Norton would, yeah. didn't shave and some hole. Let, they, had a, they have to have a hole, huh? Let me, uh, let me guess. They say that Jimmy's not funny, I bet you, or something about Jim oh, Norton, who's no. going to be on Leno tomorrow yeah, night. Because yeah, yeah, well. these guys like to take shots at Jimmy. Yeah, hey. That's the bizarro last time. Well, hello there. But neither one of them are funnier than me. That is a fact. <laughs> I will walk on stage in front of their entire audience, and I'll do my, I'll do a half hour, an hour, an hour and a half, whatever, and then one of them walk on and do the same amount of time, and at the end, let the audience judge who's oh funnier. Oh, Jimmy Norton's on the show, too. I'm not funnier than Jim Norton. Well, maybe I am. I would say you are, only because Jim Norton's just not my cup of tea. But you know what cup else that Opie and Anthony don't have? The Baltimore Ravens. We'll be right back with Jared Johnson. Uh, uh, Amelia, good. good way to end it. Spiegel. Good way to end it. What? By the way, if, it, it'd be waiting a long time for me to go on stage. And, it's, and he said, you know in front how of, fucking in front of, famous we are, you asshole? <laughs> he said, you think I'm going to Baltimore so, to some dumb, dumpy comedy club and, and doing a battle with you? Go fuck yourself. He said, in front of our audience, which is hysterical. Oh, because our audience? Bill Burr got ripped apart in front of our audience. Right, right. They like him, right. and he's really funny. Yeah, you know what? We should, uh, we should allow him to do it. <laughs> yeah, you want to do this in yeah, front of our audience? Yeah, the next uh, virus tour, you know, where we uh, sell close to 20,000 tickets. We'll give horrible. You, we'll give you five minutes in front of our audience, and all right, we'll see how well you do you dumb yeah. fat fuck that's horrible <laughs> fucking asshole and and do they have a, a broad or not it looked like a hole on the page another word of advice because we made something of ourselves in this career and you guys are attempting to get rid of the hole yeah ditch the hole the immediately. whole ruins guy talk radio and stop with the shit stop listening to your bosses and then you'll go you'll go somewhere get rid of the hole they ruin yeah. everything yeah, ditch the hole you dummies You'll, you will never need the hole. Well, Ant, you know oh, what? Oh, look, they're strangling each oh, other. Oh, look, that's crazy. Wow, <laughs> they're crazy. That's crazy. So, Ant, mm -hmm. you know, they might be uh, funnier than us. You know, I mean, so uh, Iraq, funnier Iraq, or... Iraq found an example of them being funny. Is this the, some and of their show, Creativity, creativity. that isn't, isn't uh, stifled by satellite radio? No. So to give them a fair shake here, we're going to play one of their bits to see how funny these fuckers are. Takes the creativity right out of it when you're on satellite radio. So this is not satellite. Right. It's them doing a regular show. Right. And they have to be very creative and work it, around. Okay, I got it. It's one minute of, uh, of uh, funny from okay. these guys. I don't even know their names. And Open I don't, mind. I don't really give a Open shit. Open mind. I'm We've listening. seen a million of these fucking shows come and go. Another reason why you should use your regular voice so you stand out. Instead of them going, oh, well, we could just replace that voice with this voice yeah. and no one will know because it's the same voice. How do you think we came up with the Slappy and Wappy show name? Right. Because they're all just Slappy and Wappy. Doesn't oh, matter. Oh, did you listen to management and uh, allow yeah. them to give you a hole you guys to keep everything safe? in there. Because <laughs> then the women listen and it keeps you guys in check. She's there to kind of keep you guys from getting out of control and... Oh, really? And then you sit there, there and you're for? jealous of our success. She's Look, there for... two lessons. Get rid of the hole and just use your regular voice. And I'm telling you, there. your audience will grow immediately. There you just We give you a little, um, little lesson. And here's uh, this show being really funny. Hey, y'all. You're probably wondering where I get such glamorous wigs. Duh, y'all. I started my own wig company called Wigged Out. <laughs> get it? All my wigs are made from the highest quality synthetic yak hair and polyester blend to get it that oh-so-special Sam Donaldson look. Even Hollywood celebrities love them. Right, mystery celebrity? That's right, Brittany. Even though my identity is a secret. <laughs> what? It is. <laughs> I am a frequent user of hair pieces. So as an anonymous expert, I feel compelled to come forward and say, I love wigged out. I get it. It's a funny name. Go around me. My line includes everyday fresh looks like three day strung out I need rehab look, the hillbilly hoedown look, and my personal favorite, the Whitney Houston crack den weave. Those are extensions, y'all. So order today from my online store, Wigged Out. 
Get it? That's clever, y'all. He does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. Do the bit. When you can't do John Travolta well, another uh, bit of advice. Yeah, yeah. Say hi, this is John Travolta to bring everyone to the table. <laughs> so we don't have to that's listen what, three times. But that's what bad figure out who it is. Impressionists do. Yeah. They're almost there, so they're like, you know, to hammer it home, they're like, I just judge you, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But to like make it a, a mystery and a secret who the guy is and you don't do the voice well, it really c keeps people confused. I had no idea who that was um, up until Patrice said something. I just thought it was some <laughs> yelling guy. I, I didn't, some guy buying a wig. I um, Well, Ant, they're funnier than us. It's, it's so obvious. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I think we should those, just go home. I'm depressed. I think that should go where Stephen King said this show should go, my friend. <laughs> really? You guys are Where'd finished. A, you want to file this? Because yeah. that's really, uh... There it goes. <laughs> nice try, boys. Keep carrying on. Yikes. And the whole, uh, I was able to do a Britney voice. I guess that was the whole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Good. Thanks for the mention. Must be fun to be popular in a 20-mile radius. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. You go to the next town and no one knows who the fuck you are. That's got to suck. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> uh, we, we remember the days, right, Ant? Yeah. We were popular in a 20-mile radius. They missed the uh, heyday of the fucking... The big syndication deals and all that. Right. And, uh, and now it's just, you know, they'll just they'll undercut you, pay yep. you shit, make you stay in one market and just beat you down. So that's also, fun. Best of luck to you. Also, get rid of the sissy with the cup of tea and all that. That's, yeah, yeah. It's not my cup of tea, Jimmy Norton. Really? Isn't my cup of tea. Like, you could say that sarcastically. Right. Because, like, when I say things like, good gosh, or, oh, good gravy. Right, right. I don't think anyone thinks I'm really saying that. Of course that. not. But that guy when saying say it's not my cup of tea, tea he real? really meant it. Yeah. He meant... He has tea sometimes, right? And some of it's better than other tea. And you, know, you see how they're competing against us? They had to do a local thing. Because they know people listening to Opie and Anthony in Baltimore instead of that show. They'd have been hotlined but, by the PD if they didn't end it right yeah. there. And the program I mean. director's like, look, how you compete against Opie and Anthony in satellite radio, you got to go local. So they're not talking about Keep the Baltimore local. Ravens. Yeah. But you are. You're talking That's about important. the Ravens. Yep. All right, Anthony. That was kind of boring, to be honest with you. A little bit. We've, it's always uh, fun, though. When we've seen that we'll game a million up. times, and boy, you know, yeah. we've lost every one of those battles, haven't we? God bless you. Uh, we got a radio stunt that backfired. This thing is fucking Not great. us, thank God. No. We've had enough of those. Oh, his stand-up's on YouTube? No way. Maybe the boys could give us a, a sample of his stand-up. Does he have, why does it say black people, white people next to his stand-up thing? Does he do a black guys and white guys do things different bit? How long is that clip? Because if he does... Five minutes. Fuck. All right, let's take I, let's I, I am flabbergasted. The third one down here, it says black women, and that's only two minutes. Okay. So if you want to go with the short bit. Yeah, we, we don't want to spend too much time yeah. on these guys. Right. We've, we've done this bit a hundred right. times with show names that I don't even remember. Arabs and Jews. Which one you want, Ant? Um, How about the boys down the hall pick a good one? We'll do the Australian uh, radio yeah, prank. Yeah, we'll, we'll do go that back first. To this, this clown. Um, then we'll Anthony. find out uh, some of this, his uh, his stand up. Wow, I remember um, regular Ron Bennington. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I remember when this story hit, and mm -hmm. I think I didn't think much of it, and I didn't uh, search out the audio. Unfortunately, uh, Jim Jeffries at Caroline's this weekend is like, "Have you heard this Australian radio thing?" And mm -hmm. I said no, and he explained it to me. I'm like, "Holy shit!" And he goes, "You have to play this on Monday." This is the biggest fail in radio history you're about to hear. Because they were trying to do a, a fun, silly bit, and it completely backfired on these mm -hmm. guys horribly. I guess the bit was they had uh, concert tickets for some some big star. So they had um, daughters and their mothers come into the studio. And they hooked the daughter up to a lie detector, which is a fucking great idea, right? Sure. And then basically the daughter had to answer eight out of ten questions, something like that, truthfully. And the first person to do that... Would win the tickets. Sounds like a pretty good bit, That's right? Pretty good. Because you know they're going to ask the daughter some crazy shit, or the mother's going to ask the daughter crazy shit. Highly embarrassing. And and now the daughter has to decide how important it is to get these tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Listen how this plays out. Yeah. The air in here is thick, Jackie. I know. We're all a bit nervous actually because mum has brought her daughter in to go on the lie detector. If you, we just had a chat to. Uh, 
actually about her concerns with Aussie her fourteen-year-old daughter. They added the shit out of this because the whole yeah because I guess the prime minister got involved and it, oh. this is a biggie. So uh, they're they're getting rid of all the names so oh, no one gets sued. Mm. With her fourteen-year-old daughter and why she wanted to bring her in. Fourteen-year-old daughter, very key to this. Uh, I mean, yeah. Let me uh, back up a little bit. So it's a mom with her 14-year-old daughter. ...about her concerns with her 14-year-old daughter and why she wanted to bring her in. If you missed it, here's a little quick recap before we do the lie detector. Um, last Thursday night, she went to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I gave her a kiss goodnight. And 2.30 in the morning, I got a knock on the door from two undercover police bringing her home. Right. What's your worst fear? Is it the sex? Is it the lying? Is it is it possibly doing drugs, smoking? What do you think? Um, drugs and sex. That's and older boys. Right yeah. Definitely do you think she's, has she told you she's had sex before? Or do you think she's a virgin? I think she might have had sex before. Right, but she hasn't said anything. No. Have oh. you asked about the drugs and things like that? Yes, I know for a fact that she's been smoking marijuana. Okay. Right, so she's admitted that, has so she? you yes. want to know if yes. she's doing anything harder than marijuana yes. then? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, we have her hooked up to the lie detector. Oh. She's not happy. I just saw her listening to that replay. So far, you got to give these guys credit. A plus on the yeah. bit idea and the setup. Okay, you got a 14-year-old girl with the mom. This is this is something we would have... I mean, I'm I'm jealous. I'm like, fuck, I wish we thought of this, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the, remember, the mom said, I think she had sex before. That's key here. Six. Huh? <laughs> She oh, thinks six. she had sex right. and smoked marijuana. Right. <laughs> right. So she seems like a wild... Really chopper. <laughs> people, people from faraway lands always sound stupid. <laughs> she, she sounds like one of those crazy, sex-crazed, Maury Povich type 14-year-olds, yeah, yeah. right? I'm going to do what I want. So here we go. The lie detector test starts. Listen closely because mm -hmm. the accent is a little fucked up. Um, Mum, you have a series of questions that you're going to ask your daughter and uh, you reply either yes or no and then it will be picked up on the lie detector whether you are telling the truth or lying. Okay, Mum, what do you want to start with? Okay, about school. Just recently started a new school and I want to know, have you wagged at your new school? I have not wagged at my new school. So the answer would be no? That no. it's fuck. Oh, okay. I would assume. I thought it meant, uh, are you attending class? <laughs> Just what's Australian wag? It's what's like shag, wag, you, you, fuck. Are it. you making that up? I'm just assuming. The mother's ass, Why have you fucked her? at school? Yeah, because yeah. she's a wild kid. I don't know. Make sure wag is the right thing. Man. All right, let's look at wag. You got to. And what happens with the word no? I understand accents around the world. No. But how does it become, yeah, uh, I can't even say it. A few nigh. syllables. No. 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 How do you fuck up that oh, word? That, that's badly. cutting school. <laughs> oh, it is cutting school? There you go. Because that just didn't make sense for, uh, have you been fucking at school? All right. Okay, let's nigh. do this. No. <laughs> well, she's starting with easy questions which uh, you know is the way do you, you go with this bit i want to wag not the wagged show at my tomorrow. new school <laughs> so the answer would be no 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 I and that's a fail mm. i haven't wagged are you kidding me i'm, I'm just calling i have a bloody wag <laughs> poor charles is gonna cough it this morning you're not within arm's reach there are you charles no <laughs> yeah you know he is. <laughs> he is so she answered the first question uh, yeah. falsely yes so she's not going to get the tickets unless she starts telling the truth. Telling the truth. <laughs> Fucking lie detector test are just horrid. <laughs> horrid. It's mumbo jumbo and voodoo. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm, no. sweat I'm sweating. Yeah, just being here, there. It's like, uh... Patrice, did you take a 10-pound shit the other day? Um... No? Yes, yeah. I think. Yeah. You're lying, you yeah. fucking bastard. No, I guess just, I'm not lying, I just don't remember. Yeah. I'm not lying. God, my, my brother I'm, beat yeah. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. My brother beat a lie detector once. Really? Beat the fucking thing. For real? Yep. What was that about? Uh, some pilfering at work. Nice. He uh, was, um, Nothing it was that. alleged, it was alleged he has p had pilfered nice. an elephant tusk. <laughs> I swear to you. For the ivory? Yeah, because uh, he, he worked at a place that made custom pistol grips. You know? Pistol grips. So he wanted ivory? Made it out of ivory, mother of pearl, stag horn, um, all kinds of semi-precious uh, <laughs> Your brother worked at the pistol grip factory? Pistol grip place. <laughs> Fucking but it was white like, trash. You know, I know. It was total white trash. Crackers. <laughs> total white trash. But you know what? You had to be artistic to do it. It couldn't. You couldn't just like print them out. It wasn't a printing thing. You're using these pieces of like this 
precious material, and you had to grind it. It like sounds and, tremendous, but it's just the fact oh, that it's, it's trash. You're someone right. is doing it. That the person that would do it, it. I, I want to have it in my hand, right? As opposed to like knowing the person that works at the fucking well, grip factory. He would make some of the grips, you know, for the for the company, and then on the side, he'd go to the gun stores. And be like, hey, you know, what do you need? I'll, I'll get, I'll make you this real cheap. And he was able to make a pair of grips in like no time. Oh yeah, he plays guitar. But my uncle, my uncle makes guitars, so he makes exotic guitars too. He flies in wood from fucking Africa and shit and makes these unbelievable guitars. <laughs> and that he, fucking kills me how y'all hate black people, but everything precious other than black people is from Africa. Diamonds, <laughs> wood, fucking everything. Well, for a while, black people too were imported as a precious commodity. But we wasn't precious, <laughs> just animals. If but you boy, like shit harvested. That was a precious. <laughs> Maybe our teeth was great. Those nigger <laughs> oh, teeth just make a nigger oh, tooth. Oh, God damn. <laughs> there's some of my, yeah, there's one of my uncles. Goes, punch up, punch up one of those fucking things. Uh, he, yeah, he's look like, at those he's an artist. The fucking guy. Guitars, and everything. God. Completely yeah. by hand. Yeah. Like, that, doesn't that, fucking, nothing is uh, made with some wacky machine or anything. That's sweet. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Brother so, Joe's, oh, go ahead. Oh, Brother Joe's on the line? Yeah, to on help out. Okay, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah, I, I, I'll, maybe, yeah I'll, I'll just go through it real quick and then Joe can okay. fill in some of the blanks. Wait, but maybe he's calling, let's make, uh, maybe, let's he's maybe he's calling to, to say, say dude, no. don't right, tell the story. Down. Pop Joe down. Joe. Joe. Yeah, I'll hold you. I'm, hey. here. I'm just waiting until Anthony's done rambling. Oh, okay. Well, Continue, well I'm only up to the part where uh, you used to take some pistol grips and go to the gun store and then uh, sell them to people. Yeah, those were. Um, yeah, those were like I uh, take scrap and uh, and make like what was ever whatever was left over, like Derringer grips or uh, yeah, smaller, you know, smaller. Smaller guns, not just scrap and, uh, though. Yeah. And I go, go there. I go there with a, with like a handful of clay and tell them like you know put, uh, like to, like take the clay in your hand and grip it the way you would a uh, uh, the way you would a uh, you know your 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 pistol and uh, and I'll make it custom for your hand. And I made this I made the things the same fucking way every time, but it kind of you know made people think they were custom grips and I would get top dollar for them. You, you hear Joe's, but he's he's ab- he's sleep first yeah, of all. Yeah, yeah. I know he called this a X N A on the Ori State. What about the What about the years ago? Well, I was I was um, we were working in uh, in Hicks all the time, and uh, the back door. I left the back door open. I came back and I grabbed the tusk. Uh, it just so happened that the people that we were working for, um, one of the, one of the people were were the owner of the Dale Systems, which is a huge huge security company. And um, and it turned out that uh, they sat me down for a lie detector test. The uh, the owners of the company put me in a uh, in a chair, and, uh, and and hooked me up to this lie detector machine. And started asking me all kinds of questions. They had like a professional uh, interviewer come in, and uh, and all I did was I sat and I stared at the uh, I stared at the doorknob, and uh, I kept telling myself, "There's no way this fucking machine is going to be able to uh, is going to be able to tell whether I'm telling the truth or not." And um, it had. When, when the, long story short, when the interview was done, uh, the lady came up to me and said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for taking you in here, Joey. You've been a That's good boy. Amazing. Uh, and you That's did, amazing. But you did take it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Statute of limitations is up on an elephant. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I want to jump in. That might be some money, though. Let, let me how, how much was it worth? I was 20 years wow. old and starving at the Whatever. time. Whatever. It's a lot, old. dude. Many years have gone by. We've all done stupid shit. And it's like fucking the guy's dead anyway. Yeah. Kind of exactly. on the company. How much, and, and the elephant, apparently. <laughs> how much is the tusk worth on the black market? Uh, at, the, at, the time, at the time, it was like it was a few hundred dollars. That was it. Uh, we, they, we, they used to get a lot, of, all right. a lot of tusks that were pulled out of fires that the um, – this guy had a connection over in India that was like stupid. Oh, Indian uh, they, they, Yeah. yeah. When, when the um, – when, when – when a poacher uh, is caught with uh, ivory, illegal ivory, they, they, they take the tusks and they burn them. So it cracks them and it makes them useless to, for any, uh, you know, for any, uh, uh, any type of jewelry or uh, you know, anything. So um, these, this, it was a cracked tusk that uh, basically you can only make small, small pieces of, uh, of uh, pistol grip right. jewelry with. Right. So. Uh, Brother Joe, when you passed the lighted detector test what were you thinking like holy shit was, this worked uh, absolutely no no i wasn't because I, I i just kept on telling myself there's no way a fucking machine he actually convinced himself he wasn't guilty right if you don't give it up, <laughs> awesome if you don't give it up physically if your respiration perspiration fucking uh, you can't you know, control I mean, your if, perspiration if, if, if you don't give it up if you're a sociopath basically you yeah, say yeah, you exactly. can pass this that's true. exactly you have to, if you're a serial killer, killer. yeah yeah that's gonna work for everybody joe sociopath but you 
you have you're to one be of the lucky ones. Put yourself, you have to put yourself all into all right, that Joe. sociopath. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. I got to get back to this uh, this uh, Australian thing with the lie detector. Uh, I, just, I, I, I one more thought about the uh, and just real quick uh, the uh, the uh, authors that are being uh, cunts with you guys. Uh, there was a guy named Tucker Max that was at my show the other night. I know you guys interviewed him, and he had the same idea about uh, you know about the uh, about uh, shock jocks. Uh, and and basically, I'm thinking that these motherfuckers have no uh, quick way of of putting across their thoughts and ideas. They have to put pen to have paper. Have to write a book. <laughs> and it takes them a long fucking time. So basically, it's jealousy. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Right. Jealousy that makes them hate you fucking guys. All right. Thanks, Joe. Tucker thanks, Max. Man. Tucker Max Later. is a joke. And if you want to see what we did to him a, a couple years ago, search it out on YouTube. He's one of these guys that wrote a book about all his... Um, Sex capades, his sex stories, yeah. like all this crazy shit happened to him, and crazy, crazy. And we looked him right in the eye and said, "You're fucking lying. That didn't yeah. happen." And he actually made the best solo list, uh, uh, the New York Ugh. Times best solo list. And we called him out on it. And he and and the, he was so uncomfortable in his skin because we called him out. We're like, "That didn't happen." Ah, fuck him. You're just making up stories. Why don't you at least admit it? He's an ace. But look at look for the video on YouTube. We crushed him. Uh, so we get back to the Australian radio show. So where uh, where were we? That's uh, about ten minutes ago. She didn't wag at school, which okay. is cutting class or cutting school. Right. All right. And then uh, and the lie detector test yeah. continues. And of course, she's got to she's got to uh, answer these questions truthfully, and she gets the tickets for the big show. Right. Right. And this is where it fails miserably. <laughs> no, well, so Morning, the lie detector is saying you have. I have what is, is there something? How can, what, what's happening here, Charles? Or maybe she skipped a class or something like that. Have you done that? Have you skipped no. classes? No. No. I haven't. No. Have you left there early? No, I haven't. No. Could I it haven't come up? Could it come up a way. fail? Like, have you have you had a sick day or something where you bunged on a bit yeah. of a sickie and you thought, oh, oh yeah, there's sick. plenty of them. All oh, right. Well, is that, could that be it? Well, that's yeah. it. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your next question, Mum? Okay. Have you had sex? I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Did you hear that? Because the accent's a little fucked up. <sighs> yeah, because she had an fire extra so syllable. Fired, fucking fired. Said, Who the... fucking cares? Fired. I got raped when I was 12 years old. Yeah, the accent's she got raped a little fucked when up. when she was 12. Exactly is what she said. I uh -oh. was. She... The mom asked... If she, if she ever had sex, knowing that her daughter was raped at 12 years old. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? Does the mother know? Yeah. Because she said, I told you. Yeah. yeah she but goes, she might have said, I told, I told you. Uh, said I told no, you no, 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 no. You'll let's, see. Let's listen. Because okay. in the mom's eyes, ah, the rape thing might not be considered sex. Oh, boy. I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Right. And th is that the uh, is that the only experience that... you've had? I only found out about that um, a couple of months ago. Yes, I knew about and that. And yet you still ask me the question. I was. The I think question we... was, have you had sex other than that? I'm really sorry. We didn't actually know that that was the case, and I think we might actually <laughs> bought this this segment. I I had no idea that you've been through that, so I'm really sorry. And we'll just let you off the hook, I think. I think it's best not to continue. <laughs> she was very badly raped, you see. You can hear how depressed this... Oh, hey, the holiday! Well, Paul, The broadcaster is so depressed because she's like, Oh, we're oh, so fucking His beat's fired. fucked. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. He said, I can smell your cunt. What would management <laughs> say? What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Do the best. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, Jesus, this ain't happening. <laughs> I am proud to be a lesbian. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? Boozy, boozy, bop. City bop. You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Is that the biggest fail ever? Would you? <laughs> Would you? Okay. <laughs> like, um, like, um, I just... <laughs> oh, my God. We look like assholes right now, man. <laughs> be more funny. <laughs> I love the smell of rape. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be giant cock. This is going great. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Do you have a sucker guy's cock? <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And this is great iced tea. <laughs> you never know. Act like wherever you are, that's the place to be. Is that amazing? But how hilarious was the girl, though? Yeah. Her attitude was like, she, like you could see her looking at her mother like, what? Like, yeah, do, remember what I did? Okay, all right, okay, 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 all right. Fuck all, right. Go, all right, you want to go there? But how stupid is the mom? Like, oh, yeah, b besides the rape thing, I really need to know if you've, if well, you've had sex. This this psychopaths would think if you take it in the ass and not the vagina, it's not sex. So Psychopath? I, I, can, <laughs> I can imagine that if you if it's, if it was taken... She's like, have you willingly let a motherfucker fuck right. you? Which is a fair. Maybe the girl is just dumb. She should have known that. Mm -hmm. I was right when I was 12. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> no. 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 So is that no. it? There's no f well, fallout? We got, well, we got a little more. And if, if Danny can find the story, I forgot. But I know the prime minister got involved. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you some details on what happened after uh, the last bit of audio here. But first, Larry King checking in. Larry. Yeah. So where did he put the groceries? <laughs> the <laughs> the groceries. Longer. <laughs> what did he do with the groceries? Oh, you know what? Very good, Mark. We missed uh, something in that audio. Mark in Connecticut. How about that broadcaster lady says that it's time to abort the segment? Yeah, yeah. Abort the segment. Maybe you shouldn't use the word abort. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then one, <laughs> and then they try to like, and now it's, we've been here before. Now it's, let's try to save our jobs in yes, two minutes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> in two minutes. It's like a rodeo. Let's see if we can stay on this fucking, uh, God beast. damn. Listen to them try to save their jobs. And actually, hama, 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 hama. 49 seconds of Hamana Hamana. I'm really sorry. I had no idea that, that this had happened to you. I don't think we would have gone ahead with that if, had we known. Okay, honey, we'll just let you go for a while. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize that was. <sighs> okay, ma'am. I'm sorry. Look, we needed to. We, yeah, that's something we should have probably known before we started this. Yeah, definitely. Um, so like, let's do that. Let's get you. If you guys haven't had any any counselling or any anyone to talk to about that, we're happy to to uh, pick up the bill for that. We've got them here. Do you want that, Mum? Yes, think, that'll be good. So. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Well, you know, and that might um, you know, that might going through that might answer some of the questions that you know you guys are having difficulty communicating communicating with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming, Dale. Sorry about that. Thanks, honey. Okay, we're out, everyone. Um, Jackie's got some more news coming up. No, uh, you don't need any more news. Ah, uh, yes, he got some news. He's uh, like... You want some cancelling? We'll pick up the tab. <laughs> I, holy fuck. I'm all yeah. screwed, I <laughs> Just offering everything. You, yeah. you want to live in... What I can't you know? do the accent. Fuck. Scribe. You want to live in my house? What do you need? What do you need? You want to drive my car? I'll give you my car, All please. expense paid vacation. <laughs> Where you want to go? Disneyland? Where? Hey? Nay. Nay. Please don't for us. I need this fucking job. <laughs> nay, nay. Love the nay. Nay. That <laughs> <laughs> fucking. They, that guy was scrambling. Oh, man. What do you, what do you they, want? They Please. offered everything in 49 seconds. Oh, what do you need? What do you now, need? here's why I'm retarded. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Why, why are they in trouble? Yeah, why is that bad? Because. Uh, tell you the truth. They, they just. That popped out. I think. I think. Because radio like, guys are scum. Leave it to we're this, We're just though. scum. I mean, let's think we're, about we're this. We're supposed to know everything. We're supposed to have a crystal fucking ball, Patrice. If That's that why. happened on this show, there would have been some kind of extremely <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> remark right. or laughter or something after she said she was right at 12. Mm. There would well, have been, after we said, huh? Yeah, yeah. There What'd would have been say? jokes I'll now and, and bad things. They just clammed up completely, yeah. were quiet, and then the, the hole, the Aussie hole popped in with some, you know responsible fucking oh the talk. guy went silent for a minute yeah yeah they just they, she they had some like, responsibility uh, like oh i know uh, um anthony um there was something in the audio that you might not have heard. oh yeah yeah if i could uh replay that for everybody apparently they're back on the air now with a delay system that's what dr steve is telling me dr steve knows everything about radio so they, they, and medicine so what happened to them danny basically what do, what do you know about this uh well after that show they were removed from the air okay. that was uh back in august the beginning of august they did come back uh after a two-week a hiatus. Okay. Uh, and now they pre-record some portions of their show, and they uh, do have a delay in place. I guess they they were running just completely live previously. You know so God, uh, God bless Australian radio. 
No one hears it, but God yeah, bless well, it who anyway. Who the hell hears it? Because if that happens uh, to anybody here in America, fuck. I mean, everyone is fired. The dingo raped your baby. <laughs> That's like a, a format change if, oh, if it happens oh, hell here. Oh, yeah. All right. So and uh, the, what did the prime minister say? Who raped her? Lord of the Wasteland, humongous. Let's uh. talk to this humongous. <laughs> he seems like a reasonable man. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away from the show. Leave the oil and just walk away. That's why I got to start watching more movies. Road Warrior. How do you I fucking know. access uh, quotes like from that, that that's, fucking shitty that. movie, man? That's fucked up, isn't it? It's... Two days ago, I saw a guy that had raped that 12-year-old. That's... Only Australia one you ever see the movie with a... Uh, which one was it? Uh, shit. Uh, oh, Layer Cake, when the guy, oh, the yeah, guy raped good. boys and he goes... That was a good movie. Fuck, he goes, fucking girls is for poof, poofters. <laughs> poofters. <laughs> for poofters. Dog shit sniffer. I can't do the accent. Fuck. Woodside, he writes, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not even going to try. Sorry about that. Do we have something in the prize closet for yeah. you? What do we got? Maybe a SNL box set? <laughs> Aye. Nine. The best of Nine. Alec Baldwin. Best of Alec Baldwin. No, no, she was raped at 12. We've got to get something good. <laughs> Anthony, but It's there, bloody horrible. Listen closely. There's something else in this, uh, oh, in this audio you, you might have missed. Oh, let me hear. Well, is that, could that be it? Well, that's yeah. it, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your next question, Mum? Okay, have you had sex? I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Goodness gracious! <laughs> right. <laughs> and is that the uh, is that the oh, only experience you've had? I only found out about that um, a couple of months ago. Yes, I knew about and that. And yet you still oh. ask me the question. I was. The I think question that... was, have you had sex other than that? I'm really oh, sorry. We did actually know I've that that was seen. the case, and I think we might actually bought this this segment. Fancy I I had no idea that you'd been through that, so I'm really sorry, and we'll just let you off the hook. I think. I think it's best not to continue. Down goes Fraser. Down goes Fraser. Down goes Fraser. Jesus Christ. So what if the mother had it just went? Other. The okay. mother is the stupid one in if, there. If, if she oh, had said, the fuck are you asking a sex question to a 14-year-old that was raped when she was 12? Yeah. Other than... How bad do you need to see the stupid uh, show? If she, yeah. well, she got in trouble if she had said, other than the rape, have you had sex? Right. Other than the rape. <laughs> oh, shit. Like if she had said that herself. I nigh. Oh, wow. The uh, radio guy, he survived that one. but he, What? But then he got fired for something else. What, what do we got, uh, Danny? We're learning An more Australian about this radio show. radio host was yanked off, or yanked off <laughs> the air uh, Wednesday for joking about weight loss at concentration camps less than a month after serving a suspension <laughs> for quizzing a teenage oh rape God. victim. Sydney's Today FM said shock jock Kyle Sandlin uh, remarks. Uh, that the best way for comedy actress uh, Magda Zengabagade to lose weight was to go to a concentration camp were unacceptable. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba, we know that. You put it in a concentration camp. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What happened to him? Go down a little further. He apologized, of course. This jockey was sacked from his role as a judge on the television talent show Australian Idol over that incident. Today, FM just said, we not say when or if he will return to the airwaves. Oh, yeah, he did the I guess American Idol the, of Australia. Of Australia, and then he was <laughs> I kicked the off American of it. Idol of Australia. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was kicked off of it after the lie detector thing. Yep. And now he did a concentration camp. Ah, nice. Oh, yeah. That's like Ryan Seacrest doing, like, concentration camp. Concentration camp. Why would you do All that? Right, Anthony, can you do? I, <laughs> I, I wish I could do it. I would do it if I could. Can you do the Australian guy who says a concentration camp joke and then... It mentally catches himself going, I'm doing a, oh, fuck, I'm doing a concentration camp joke. I'm going to get Aye, fired. She's a li little overweight, eh? You know what she should do? Probably end up going to one of those concentration camps. I lose a little weight there. No. I, 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 oh, good. Not that I'm saying that any of the Jews ever needed to be in a, a concentration camp. Or that they deserved it, or anyone would deserve something as horrible as that. Because that's terrible. Never... You should probably go on a diet. I never said it. It never happened. Race the tape. Please, I need this job. It never works when you try to explain I... yourself. It never nah. works out. Let's say hi to Jason Don't in Detroit. Don't fire me. Nah. Jason has a very good question, Anthony. Jason? 
Morning, fellas. Good morning. Um, she was there to win tickets. Did she ever win them? Or did they just <laughs> Sounds like I a Larry King question. Right. What happened to the tickets? <laughs> Were there two empty seats at the show <laughs> that night? <laughs> VIPs. Oh, fucking brought her on stage, everybody. Oh, this damn. is the little 12 year old rape girl. <laughs> yeah, let's bring her up. <laughs> she, That's it. You're we're not going to cover. Alone. We're not going to cover a Nirvana song for her. <laughs> <Jesus. Whoa. laughs> what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. What? Smells like Teen Spirit. Exactly. Yep. Probably yep. did. Uh, mm. uh, were well, you swabbed for DNA? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, fucking oh, holy shit, man! Oh, what now, Danny? It's just what happened. It just now? makes me so upset when I see you know stories like this yeah. that are just misreported. Okay. Well, then say I know. Oh, no, because yeah. <laughs> I'm like Sal. <laughs> oh no, Ro! It just says here: last month, uh, Sandilands lost his judgeship on Australian Idol after getting a 14 year old girl to admit on his show that she'd been raped when she was 12. Now, that's not the audio I just heard. No, that isn't no. getting her to admit. See, that would that to me if I just read that and didn't hear the audio. I would think that he was just grilling her about something, and she was like, yeah, okay, I was raped. The mother fucked that up. That was the mother putting the goddamn jocks in a bad position. Oh, it sounds like he was going, oh, come on, you've been raped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, fess yeah, really. up. Fess up. That's why you're, we have you been raped. Come on, you look all raped up. You come on, raped. be honest. Well, the, the press come actually on, being I, accurate? Let me see your hymen. I bet you don't have a hymen. Let me sing it. Uh, Is your hymen intact? <laughs> oh, I believe your hymen ain't even intact. Let me sing it. I nay. It's busted. It's busted. Your fucking hymen's busted. I nay. <laughs> uh, remember, Ann, we're not funny because, you know, we have to be more clever. Uh, fuck it, mate. Fucking hymen. Your fucking hymen. You ever have your little hymen. titty squeezed, eh? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. You did the Australian. Let's go the to the news. Australian version of Hyman. Let's go to the news. <laughs> of course, I think I'm in trouble. I shouldn't talk about Hyman. Uh, Let me, uh, this thing is uh, busted. It's busted. <laughs> what open. Fucking <laughs> cri crikey. Crikey. It's probably a giant penis. Crikey. Cracked up in your hymen. Are you taking a piss, you little whore? Crikey. Right, eh? This is bollocks. Damn it. Right. And I'll bet you wagged school that day. And from, uh, and, uh, Pat from Milwaukee. Oh, oh, fuck. Just writes, sex for fosters. Yes. Sex for fosters, <laughs> eh? All right, you got to go to that big Sydney amphitheater and have sex over there for a fosters. Uh, Don't fosters go to the church, be... eh? Oh, man. People want to know where Good Evening and Try the Wine come from. Oh, my God. Watch Clockwork Orange immediately and you'll get half this show. Let's say hi to Larry King, Anthony. This oh, is a pleasure. Larry. Larry King. <laughs> Jesus, Larry. Oh, that's horrible. That's quite inappropriate. Come on, Larry. Let's go to Larry King on line five, Anthony. How he gets uh, between these phones. Larry. Yeah. Was that a Rue or Joey? Who raped you? He's <laughs> making kangaroo jokes. <laughs> because there's only one animal in yeah. Australia, and that is the kangaroo. We all know that. Oh, this is, you know, a little uh, little observation from Snake in New Orleans. Snake? Yeah, boys. I'm wondering what kind of sick woman this mom is for smiling at the kid while she was asking the yeah. question. Yeah. She goes, don't smile. You know. Right. Oh, that was and, and, the like kid the that said that. Oh, yeah. was that the mother who no, said the mother? That was the kid that said to the mother, like, don't smile. Yeah. You know what the yeah. fuck the answer is. Right. What the fuck? Right. And then she just went, all right, fuck it. Here it comes. Right. I like so how the she kid just is that. dumb then. No, the kid looked at the mother, and the mother started smiling like, oh, oh well, you, you had sex, but not that rape thing. I think They're they want to talk dumb. about dumb. They're both dumb. They're like, both fucking Well, the kid's dumb. 14 and raped. I mean, you can't really blame her for anything. Well, look, that's not the... She's fucking... I mean, that doesn't have anything... To, you don't get your context raped out of you. Like, well, to, under okay. to understand how to get it. Yeah. She didn't want to fucking admit that she was raped on the ad, but both of them yeah. are dumb. Holy shit. They're fucking stupid. You ever, you ever take it in the bum? <laughs> did, did he give Amazing. it to you in the bum? Hey? Ah. Oh, we got an Australian Larry King. Oh, I uh, bet she was blowing bush oyster all over the place. <laughs> yeah. 
Anthony, this might be the bit today because the Larry King thing. What went... a come to Gusta that was. <laughs> oh, my God. The Larry King might not be working, but we got the Australian Larry King on the phone. The guy thought it was a corker, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hyman. Corker. Right. Fucking corker. <laughs> okay, you cunt. <laughs> uh, Australian Larry King, check it in. Yes. How important is foreplay? <laughs> <laughs> When fuck. you're getting right, that is. Oh, fuck you. In, in the veg. In the veg. Uh, in the veg. <laughs> in the veg. In the veg. But you've got to say it long. In, in the vagina. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> um, it sounds like rejoiner. Vagina. That's where the hymen is. The hymen. You want a chick for a busted hymen, you look in the vagina. Oh, that's fucking awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we didn't fucking do it. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't fucking yeah, do it. Fuck no. Them. Oh, oh stupid. Dick. It'd be great to be fired for a secondhand radio bit. Ain't that a bitch for commenting on that? <laughs> for commenting on a radio bit. Jesus. Ah. Mm. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I, I, that is a stunt that went horribly wrong. And Australian humor, uh, you know, coming in now. I don't even know what this means. We might have to look it up ourselves. Rob mm -hmm. on Long Island. Rob? Rob? Yeah, in the Aussie sperm, I'm the only one when I'm at Outback and I have to take a piss. I have to stop for a minute and think, am I a bloke or a Sheila? I don't know. <laughs> Sheila. Sheila. The way they say it, you can't even, like, say it. Let's say hi to Larry yeah. King. Oh, my missus. Being the rot in the frickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't use no franga neither. Or just banged her in a freckle. Let's see. Gave I... me a load of ear bashing too. <laughs> Wouldn't stop a fucking ear bashing while I busted up a freckle. Didn't use no franga neither. <laughs> 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 that can be pretty fucking... I've never heard it called that before. Frickle. Oh, that's hilarious. Ah, love the smell of a good Aussie frickle. Um, <laughs> smells like a vagina. Australian ant. Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore, if you can read that. Because, oh, shit, I don't have that uh, there. Can you see that right there? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. The Did his penis taste like Vegemite? <laughs> <laughs> like a Vegemite? So a little... I oh, hear it's quite bitter. <laughs> Australian Larry King, check it in. Yes, uh, Larry. <laughs> Larry? <laughs> Sydney, you're on the air. How important is the consent during sex, mate? Oh, Aussie, Aussie Larry King's not as yeah, funny. What happened? This isn't we don't a want to ruin subject. our Larry King bit yet. This isn't a subject that Larry can really comment on. <laughs> Australian Larry King checking in it. I'm not giving up on this. You really want to give him a try? This fucking bit has potential. Australian Larry King, yes. Crikey. When he gave it to you in the dunny, did you give him a reach around and tickle his bollocks, eh? <laughs> in the dunny. <laughs> the dunny. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, poor dunny was all busted up. <laughs> I know. Let's go to the American Larry King. Uh, Larry. More importantly, did you have to blow the roadie to get backstage? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she was quite upset afterwards. I heard she had a liquid laugh. Or laugh? How would they say that? I, just, I don't know. Liquid they... laugh is puking, which is kind of funny. That is good. They got some good uh -oh, fucking... Uh-oh, a lurk. What? Illegal. Or under, uh, oh. underhanded racket. He did a lurk to a frickle. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pandered her vagina. Busted her hymen. <laughs> I don't even know what this means. Larry uh... King checking in on line four, Aunt. Larry! Yeah, does being raped give you a platypus? Oh, what is that? I don't know. A platypus? Did uh, he say a platypus? He sure did. Jesus. All right, with nah, that, why don't we go to break? Just imagine him pulling off a Grundy's. <laughs> he pulled off a Grundy's, and then he made sure he'd crack a fat. It looked like a mystery bag, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he popped it right in a freckle. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Tafro Munaki. She gave him a rusty didgeridoo. <laughs> didgeridoo. didgeridoo. You give her the old rusty didgeridoo, did you? <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> when you blew on a freckle, did it go? <laughs> 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 
Wow. Sounds like wow. a Foster's commercial, eh? Wow. 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 Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, she was all in the nutty, too. Totally in the nutty. The show dry. That was... <laughs> as dry as a nun's nasty. Nest. Dry as a nun's nasty is dry. Ah, look, let me blow into a freckle. Here we go. I oh, no. <laughs> Blowing into a vagina. The sound's made by the hymen. You could, you could hear the hymen. It's vibrating because it's not busted yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> there might be a leak right there. <laughs> was, hey, a was, was, she, Resonates. was she made by Aborigine? I oh, no. I <laughs> oh, I don't like that. And there's rice mixing. But I didn't mean anything bad about it. If you want to be a rice mixer, feel free. What's rice mixing? I don't mixing? want to lose my job. I yeah. I no. I got a meeting with the GM. I no. <laughs> Anthony, Larry King checking in. Oh, Larry King. Uh, Larry. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry King. The Australian Larry Kings are embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> Did the rape scene look like Welsh's grape juice? <laughs> oh, my God. Larry. <laughs> Larry. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Should we take a break? Uh, yeah, I would gather that we I would. I have to piss so bad, my temperature just dropped. <laughs> Never have that. I'm getting cold. Tell you. I'm getting she cold. certainly was the ridgy digi though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think she's a porky. <laughs> I never put the old fella the in old, a freckle. The old <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what oh, posse we were in. I'd, I couldn't get to a freckle with me me banger. <laughs> They must have. I think they have the best fucking. Oh yeah, fucking slang in history. They got some great fucking like, slang. And I thought George Australian. Carlin had a few that were pretty good. Holy shit! These the guys know what they're fella. doing. Oh. And you know that show yeah. that was trashing us in Baltimore, and the one guy said he's a really funny stand-up. Of he's course. Funnier than us. Well, funnier we, than Jimmy too. We and funnier than Jimmy. Yeah. He possibly thinks. Yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, that's funny because uh, Jimmy's going to be on Jay Leno tomorrow night with Michael Moore and Tom Cruise. And oh, and where's this guy? Uh, uh, oh, that's right. I don't know. He's going to be, you know, in front of a brick wall somewhere in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. you're just like Jim Norton. I hope he eats it right in his freckle. Yeah, we got a uh, a sample of his comedy that we're going to do after the break for everybody. <laughs> we'll give him a chance to see if he's telling the truth or not, or if he's lying. <laughs> lying. Uh, Patrice? What? Punchline? Yes. Patrice O'Neill's a rip snorter. <laughs> give... Fucking fantastic. Your rip snorter. And also a root rat. <laughs> Your root rat. R root rat. <laughs> you are a root rat. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody constantly looking for sex. You, you... I know. Who isn't a, <laughs> and, uh, I am I know. Who, who isn't a root rat? Who isn't a, who root, isn't rat? a root rat, really? Uh, I think Australia wins <laughs> in the greatest fucking slang in history. <laughs> Wait, but root rat could mean you're going for the... The freckle? For the root. <laughs> oh. Oh. So maybe you're not maybe a root a rat. it's a chick. Right. I think that's a chick that's looking for a lot. Action. Root rat. Hey, uh, so it's the uh, the punchline in San Francisco. Patrice O'Neill, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week. How do they get tickets, Patrice? Go to Big Mama Prods for details. Probably not. San Francisco uh, Punchline Comedy Club dot com. Yeah, go see SF dot Punchline Comedy Club dot com. I've been to the Punchline a couple of times. What a fucking great club for you guys to perform. I like at. San Francisco, except for the weird. Like, do they still have the city skyline behind you? Yeah, that dumb thing. But you know, they all do. Yeah, bananas has bananas. Ugh. Yeah, what the Just fuck? Just fucking put a wall there. Chuckles, Let the comic do chuckles their stuff. As a somebody yeah. chuckles. Why would you? Someone chuckling a big oh. or a big smiley mouth. That's all a distraction. Yeah, it really is. They stupid. don't understand. They don't understand that shit. I like when the people improv at the background. But oh, it's a great oh, club, oh. though. Great oh. club. It great really people. is. Yeah. San Francisco. It really comedy, is. It's comedy like, town. Yeah. All right, why don't we take a break? We'll continue with Patrice O'Neill. We still have so much fucking stuff to do. I know. You know the Serena Williams what thing? What a guy I'm. Oh, when I she's... I got to go I'm. I know that very well. All right, we'll talk about that next. <laughs> uh, I'm finished. Patrice O'Neill has me laughing my ass off. Opie and Anthony's show. Hi. Oh, we all know it's Monday, but you'll muddle through. Muddle? Yeah, we were just talking about horrible movies that come on uh, the Sci-Fi channel, the Sci-Fi original movies. 
are so utterly bad. The special <laughs> effects are terrible. Is Debbie Gibson in that? Yeah. Is that Debbie Lorenzo Gibson? Lorenzo Lamas and there's Mega Shark. Mega Shark versus what? The, the name of the movie is called Giant Octopus versus Mega Shark. They couldn't even give Giant Octopus a cool name. They just called it Giant Octopus. Versus Mega Shark. Versus at least Mega Shark is. And you know cool. what? Here's a great thing about sci-fi. It, they, they have an all-day theme. It'll be it'll be oh. 20 movies, but it'll all be this, yeah. well, you this guys, spring break shark frenzy. Wait, you guys missed this. <laughs> You gotta okay. see what happens to the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Shark jumps out of the water and bites it in half. <laughs> Mega Shark is biting the Golden Gate Bridge. Mega Shark is giant. Because mm. uh, I asked, because Patrice said Mega Shark jumps out of the water and eats a passenger jet. And I'm like, how could a shark fucking yeah, get that uh, high up? Mega Shark, man. And the dude looked out the window and said, oh, shh. And the shush was, you know, the it was cut yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. How did Mega Shark get it? Mega Shark is the shit. <laughs> well, what about jo- oh, Giant Octopus? Giant Octopus just got, got shit out Don't there, fuck though. around with Giant Octopus either. Deborah Gibson. Yes, Debbie Gibson's in that. Oh, it just bit you a fucking what? destroyer. Octopus wins every time there. I don't know. Mega <laughs> fucking Shark. shark has no <laughs> arms. <laughs> They just had a guy looking out the plane window uh, and Mega Shark just every the plane. I gotta Saturday, see- if I'm not fucking working, I got to see this movie. Now. I'm watching Sci Fi's original programming. You know what fucks me up about Sci Fi's programming, their original programming, too? They depend so much on CGI, but they have the worst people it's doing the it. the worst. It is amongst the worst. I've seen indie films that have no budget. That must have had some talented computer guys that were able to do some pretty decent CGI. <laughs> this is so fucking bad. You can't even get into it. Like, first of all, a flying jet airliner nowadays, <laughs> I could do it. I could do it on my Mac and make it look like a fucking jet airliner. That looked so bad. <laughs> What's wrong with these fucking... I'm laughing because I'm thinking... Because I'm so into these... But I hate them with my right. with all my heart. They do ripoffs, uh, uh, their version of the, and they'll it'll be like the Terminatrix. Oh no, no. and it'll be a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, or star kind of trekky, yeah. and it'll be <laughs> Lorenzo trekkie. Lamas, uh, fucking Bruce ba- Box Lightner. <laughs> Uh, they had one called uh, recently. It was a new one that just premiered. The premiere of oh, world premiere. Uh, it was a te- it was a western town in the old days in eighteen hundreds that was attacked by new age aliens. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they had to fight them with, but it was it was sci fi network. So it's not done. Cool. Yeah, uh, and they had to fight these things with their with their fucking you know their six shooters and their oh. fucking and you know homemade bombs and shit it just you know who else is in a lot of those what's his name uh uh Lou Lou Phillips Diamond oh, Lou, Lou Diamond Lou Phillips. Phillips. Diamond Phillips when but he's in a no, good show called Lou the cleaner Phillip diamonds now. because no, no that's Benjamin that's Brad, Benjamin Brad. Yeah. holy that's shit Benjamin my Brad. fault my fault hey, yeah uh reading from uh, genericshow.com writes uh Opie the company that makes this also makes the movies that rip off blockbuster movies like Patrice was saying oh. the company made Transmorphers Transmorphers <laughs> I'm trying to rip off <laughs> if you and they do part twos of movies that were good oh, right and to completely fuck them up and they and they just turn them into and They're they had horrible. another one who, who you know who was in it what's the guy he used to be Ken Oh man, mm. big guy, kind of big. He used to be an action guy, pretty pretty known back in the day. But he was in. It was a movie called uh, Cobra, Giant Cobra versus <laughs> versus. They like the versus. Um, what's the the dragon? <laughs> Giant oh. Cobra versus Komodo dragon versus. <laughs> it's got to be a versus. That's it like, was versus. That's like Ali Frazier, man. <laughs> Ali versus Frazier. Uh, oh, Footer has one too that he saw. Footer. Lizard yeah, Bean. Hey. <laughs> hey, there was one that I was flipping through and I saw, and it was just, it, it was ro- Rock Monster or something. And I, I don't know how you'd make a Rock Monster cool anyway, but all this was was like the side of a mountain would come alive and just fucking start eating people. Like and they don't even ridiculous. try with the names. It's like, right. yeah, it's just called Rock Monster. It's, it's, our, it is what it fucking is. Monster. Wait, wait, I got to ask, though, what's the excuse that, People use that they need to get close to rock monsters because, rock monster? because all you would have to do is stay away from the fucking mountain and you would never get eaten. 
no, you know better than anybody, oh, being a hiker, that, you know, you have to hike and you're near oh, the mountain. Right. And next thing you know, the side of the mountain, it's a man. Oh, shit, that guy. Yeah. No, 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 hold on. Giant Cobra. I'm looking at Giant Cobra. <laughs> and that was the guy that was in um, Eddie and the Cruisers. That's Michael Paré. Michael Parry, yep. Yeah, yeah. He was in Eddie and the Cruisers. But and I, now he's doing one of these. But if you're into <laughs> movies, right? If, <laughs> yeah. if you're into movies, is it is it the is it the fucking the the fact that everybody's a bad actor? Is it because it's a bad movie? Yeah. Or would these people be good in The Godfather if they were in it? Well, they probably would uh, be good in a real role. Maybe in a real role. Some of them, anyway. Some of them. Yeah. Because I'm looking at some of these actors. Every single person on the screen, I go, I've seen them. Mm -hmm. I've seen them in some... I could not fucking tell you what, except for Michael Paré there. Why would you ever look for any of these movies on DVD? It just said, look for it on DVD. It was one. You know who was in it? Michael Gross, recently. A hundred million years B.C., where (laughs) they sent a team back... And someone fucked something up and to, fucked the future up. And to find Philadelphia, to find the people that did the Philadelphia experiment, yeah. they sent them back in time to find them. So they found them, and Michael Gross, what happened is he had to be the only one who sacrificed himself. Yeah. A giant uh, ter- Tyrannosaurus Rex yep. went through the machine with everybody else. And you know who the star of the fucking movie was? And he walked around with a bow and arrow the whole show. Was the was the kid that was in Blue Lagoon with Brooke Shields? Oh, really? Uh, oh, fucking, um, it's not uh, Willie Ames, but no, it's uh, Willie Ames. Uh, yeah, Ad- Christopher Ackett, Ackett. Christopher Ackett. Ackett. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was so bad, but I watched. I seen the movie twice. I can't <laughs> stop watching the bad sci-fi movies all day. <laughs> That's hysterical. You just sitting there the watching marathons that shit. all day. I get mad because I don't like the wizard movies, but I do like yeah. when it's when it's a fucking. Is the dialogue good? <laughs> It's the worst because it's uh it's all like you said it's all CGI right. yeah. and they'll have a uh, you know Horrible. it'll be a frog it's always an experiment you think you st- yeah experiment gone <laughs> awry you think you think some of these big stars they get uh, cast for these movies like oh fuck the concept's great it's fucking and then shark. they realize what and it then, is and they do all their acting because they can't see the special effects and then they finally see it for the first time and go like, holy oh, shit oh. I'm in a piece of shit it's movie. like yeah we're gonna green screen you in over right, here right. just uh, look look up here like and they're probably picturing these effects are gonna look like fucking they're amazing. all thinking Jurassic Park like, like they, they, yeah, yeah. The next oh, like oh, they don't movie. know that the movie I That's think that do they know if the movie is going to be going shitty right to enough. sci-fi? Do you think they know that? That is a great question, man. I bet you they're thinking state-of-the-art special effects. This is it. If I get a fucking script, your big Next thing you know, they show a big giant shark biting the, the uh, Golden Gate <laughs> <laughs> Bridge in <laughs> half, and you're like, if, oh, and you're calling your family suicide. and apologizing. <laughs> if I get a script, right? Career suicide. <laughs> if I get a script and the script says giant octopus versus mega shark, it, I gotta know it stinks. I would say this better Why? be the working title, motherfucker. Th- think of some of the other crazy movies out there that ended up becoming no huge No good movies have <laughs> fucked up titles. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. Park? That's a fucking shitty movie. What about Not Jurassic Park? Eight. That's a great yeah, but the, fucking name. That's a great name before you know that the movie was going to be a 2020, no. Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park is a Park. great name. Nah, man. Jurassic you Park think? is good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because the good. sci-fi movies would name it Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what? Just... <laughs> End the fucking argument. One for Patrice. How do I, how do I come back from that? <laughs> you ain't watching Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> it's stupid. Holy oh, shit. All right, let's go with a few more then, Patrice. <laughs> Fuck, I got to think of a couple movies now. Uh, oh, damn, that's a good one. Because I watch uh, these movies. They're uh, always named stupid, sci-fi, man. Sci-fi, yeah. Think of it like a dress. Park movie. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, They're bottom line fuck. people, man. Why can't bottom we line. Any other ones. Sci-fi. I was just gonna go with basic shit like Godzilla, King Kong. But well, uh, those, those yeah, are shitty movies know, anyway. Uh, you gotta think of like um, some good sci-fi's. Danny, Danny knows one? some good sci-fi's. Yeah, you must know some sci-fi. sci-fi. No, a movie that became huge, but if you looked at the title, and then Patrice will explain why the title was always great and how it would well, be Jaws. How about like Star, yeah, yeah. Star, Star Trek. Jaws? He's got Jaws. Teeth. <laughs> teeth. Just teeth. What would uh all right. I wait, wait, let me tell you something. There's uh, a movie that they have yeah. about evil evil attacking fucking birds. You know what it's called? Call. <laughs> no call. I right, what would right. what would sci fi call Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Oh. 
All right, thank oh, you, Chaz. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. They go, Alien Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name, Alien right. Mountain. Aliens are visiting us. Yeah. All right, we're going to put you the or test. Or they would name it t- the sound of the doo-doo. It would be called doo-doo, 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 doo-doo. <laughs> Sci-fi network five, five alien notes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> alien notes. <laughs> they, they, close encounters right. of the third kind is a great. Yeah, yeah. All right, this group's fucking great. Uh, we got Matt of West Virginia. Uh, Patrice Iron Man. Steel dude. <laughs> Fuck, that's what Matt had too. Steel guy. Steel, steel, steel guy. Steel guy. Steel Matt had steel guy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> They suck. Did we do Star Wars yet? Oh, no. Star Wars. Mm. Galactic fighting. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Terminator? Uh. Mm-hmm. I, and now, they had a term, and they called it they called it Robot, robot Hunter. I was going to say Robot Killer from robot, the Future. Okay. So I'm telling you, yes. The right, robot yeah. Killer, and then in parentheses, yeah. from the future. From the future. <laughs> how, about, how about this one? Uh, a newer movie. Thank you, Steve Nolan, Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, Cloverfield. That's a good one. They might call it Cloverfield. <laughs> Cloverfield might be a, a, a sci-fi channel named. Someone said <laughs> New York Monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far off. Oh, is that fucking good? New York Monster. <laughs> Close Encounters, uh, Rex writes, uh, Mashed Potato Mountain. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. Um, someone's got Mars Attack. Mars Attacks. Right, Nick? Mars Attacks? Mars Attacks. Planet of the Apes is pretty much Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Planet of Apes. They'd probably take the out of it. (laughs) Planet of Apes. Nope, they would call it Simeon Wars. This is (laughs) sci fi. We call Planet Apes. Simeons versus humans. Uh, Mars Attacks would be. Red chaos from beyond. <laughs> it, it, it's awful. They, they, they have this, to this use the word beyond one. a lot, too. This is a tough yeah. one. 12 Monkeys. 12 fucking Monkeys. 12 Monkeys was a good movie. Eek, eek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, and that's no bullshit. I'm going to get a job naming these fucking movies. Oh, shit. Did we do Aliens? Do we do aliens? No, like? alien or aliens? None of yeah. the alien movies. A lot of alien movies out there, Patrice. What do you oh. think? Sci-fi. Mm. What would they name that? Man, aliens. an aliens concept. That, that's a yeah. tough one. That's too basic to begin with. Mm. Mm. That is rough. See what they what they would do with aliens is some of these movies they name they don't name okay the the concept they'll name what. The, they'll name the place where the concept is happening. Uh-huh. So if it's an alien type movie and it's happening, say on a boat, mm-hmm. they call it Alien Boat. <laughs> <laughs> and am I bullshitting though? No, am I bullshitting? It's, it's they'll call accurate. it Alien Boat. <laughs> it's a, alien it's boat. a great bit. How about uh, The Matrix? Oh yeah, that's a good one. The Matrix. Mm. <laughs> Cyber Runners. <laughs> <laughs> cyber would be in it. Cyber has to be in it because that's cyber a- would definitely be yeah. in it. Hmm. You know what? It, ready? It, and it'll be it'll be nice and st- cyber <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Someone just put it out. cyber Hold chaos. On. No. <laughs> Someone just wrote, "Help! I'm trapped in the computer." <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry oh, I missed so your name. Much. That's fucking funny, man. <laughs> <That's really> funny. <laughs> Help. I'm trying to get the computer. And the follow-up called, your bullets are slow. <laughs> <laughs> How about... <laughs> so already oh, sounds shit. kind of sci-fi. Back to uh, the future. Oh, back to the future. Oh, that's yeah. got to be an easy one. Because the they would have probably stole it. If they stole that yeah. time car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Time car. I like time car. Time you ready? Car. Yeah. yeah. Future change. <laughs> future, future change. I'm telling you, man. Future change. Fucking Patrice, right on. 
right the fuck out. Pre- that is so premiering bad. at Saturday at nine o'clock. Future change. And you can totally picture it. Totally fucking picture it. Night of the Living Dead. Uh, Boomer uh, from Jersey. Twelve Monkeys equals holy shit. We got Brad Pitt to be in one of our stupid ass movies. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. I'm Predator. Very good, uh, Arch from Long Island. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Predator. That has to be Space That's Hunter. Something with a hunter. Space in it. Hunter. Uh, definitely. They, they yeah. would just call, it would just be, it'll be jungle. <laughs> yeah. It'll be space jungle, <laughs> jungle. hunter. Space jungle <laughs> hunter. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You, you guys nailed it. Good movies Fuck have good titles, it. man. They just do. Steven S. from Bayshore. They can't even get a good title. Back to the Future equals ahead from the past. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, Back to the Future equals heads up. That's the name of the movie. Heads up. I know know what's going to happen. Starring Michael J. Fox. Bravo. If we get a few more, we'll go back to this. Uh, So uh, so this this show out of nowhere in Baltimore decided to trash us today. We don't know yet. I don't know why you're going down this road. I guess what happened, what, a producer or something uh, admitted he listens to us. Listen to the show on the way in. On the way in to do their radio show because we got that nice replay on the satellite. Yes, we do. So he's taking a peek and listening. And he admitted, wow, this guy was stupid. He admitted he actually liked another radio show. Ah, that was dumb. That. You don't do that in radio. So then one of the hosts said that he's funnier than us. and Funnier he, than Jimmy. Uh, funnier than Jimmy. And, uh, and if, I don't know, if he went in front of our crowd, he yeah. would get a much better reaction than we would. Well, he'd get a reaction. That's all right. So we're like, all right, all right. We'll take a listen to, to some of your stand-up and see if you're fucking funny. Patrice O'Neill's in here. He knows a thing or two about stand-up. Huh, Patrice? And I, and I have nothing against these guys, so I'll be very I, fair. I want you to have an open mind. Yes, Mr. I will. Mr. Pupkin, we're going to listen to it, uh, and we'll pass yeah. it on to Jerry. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah. I'll wait. And uh, a couple things, you know, they're, I don't know. Ah, you heard and us sci-fi is crazy you heard us comic. Earlier, whatever. <laughs> you heard us earlier, but basically the guy has the typical radio voice like everyone else. I, I want to give the guy advice. Start using your, your own voice. Yeah. You'll go further and get rid of the fucking hole because, you know, females ruin this type of uh, environment. Simple as that. Yes. Name one where it's worked. Howard. Oh, Howard. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I mean, yeah, to say it hasn't worked, but. That's about the only case. I think he's the exception, though. Yeah. Has there for real? Who else? All right, you got Howard, who has Robin. Mm-hmm. Who else has been successful in Morning Drive? Batman doing Batman. That's fuck. Robin. That um, works. Doing you know guy boo. boo guy talk radio. Yeah, guy talk radio with a hole. That's been successful. Sorry, I can't, I can't name another one after uh, Howard. Sorry, we chose not to go down that road a real long time ago, and boy have they tried over the years. Mm. Boy have they tried. So you got this guy, Mickey's one of the guys, I guess, and this is him doing his actual stand-up. So we just picked one of his sets off YouTube, and uh, Patrice is here to critique it. All right. Now, uh, I've brought uh, inter- I've brought Mike in. Yeah. All right. That's not it. What the hell was that? I guess, I guess we got more audio because I guess uh, our <clears throat> listeners, yeah. some would call them our pests. Uh, have pretty much gotten under the, gotten to them today. Already? Yeah, so now they're they're going back on the radio to try to explain what they meant. But first, we got a, a sample of Mickey's stand-up. All right. I love black people, man. I do. Sometimes they just, you know, get on my nerves. I ain't going to lie. I'm just, there's some shit we got to deal with. And I know most black people like... Holy shit. He Is this like, the same guy? He sounds like Rocco on the radio and sounds like Jimmy Schubert when he's on stage. He's kind of putting on some kind of thing there. Like, like hey, I like black people. What is that? But, but on the radio, he's like Rocco. I don't get it. That's old? Yeah. What happened? Oh, right in the dumpster. Okay, thanks. Do it. And I know most black people like white people, but there's some shit we do that gets on their nerves. And I know how we can fix all the racial problems in the world. Here it comes. Let's be honest with each other. There's some shit about each other that's fucked up. (laughs) We just have to admit it. Number one. I'm going to start with the white people. <laughs> There's some shit. If we're going to get along, oh my we got to get give to up. it. We get the premise. Where's my NASCAR fans? <clears throat> oh, boy. Stop it. Okay. Pathetic. 
Sick, stupid, not entertaining. How the fuck are you going to spend three hours on a Sunday watching fucking traffic? What the f- NASCAR crowd. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, well, uh, he's getting a great reaction. Maybe he's performing, mm. you know, right, NASCAR crowd. right next That's to Dane Cook, who's in another room or something. So, you know, whatever. I don't find that funny. But but it's, it's not my company. I mean, he's getting, he's, if I heard it, he's getting a, a really good reaction. Under these circumstances, it's like oh, it's easy to go. Well, fuck him. But yeah, I I've heard I've heard it before. I've heard worse, yeah, yeah. and and I've heard better. Yeah. He's uh he's about as he's a guy on stage he's about what doing it is. some comedy, and the people are laughing. He's, he's a middle, gonna he, do. He's about what it is. He's yeah. he's he's the new form of uh, and I've explained this once or twice where. When I watched Pryor and Carlin in my life, mm-hmm. before I did comedy, they didn't make me want to do it. <laughs> I didn't see it. They didn't influence me. They didn't inspire me because I, 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 I thought I could never be. Couldn't do that. I can't do that. That's something mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. He's, he's, I don't know how long this he's guy's been doing it. He's an inspiration. But this guy, <laughs> if, if, if a yeah. young comic, you can go, I, I'm going to do comedy. I could do that. It, it, it's, it's a spawn of a lot of this shit. And he's as good I'm going to be honest. He's as good or as bad as Larry the fucking cable guy to me. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. He's as good or as bad. He had the, he had, and he had the NASCAR <laughs> crowd there. So. so whatever, man. Yeah, I mean, that works. What the fuck? This guy's not... He, yeah, he's one, not more, a, mm. one more example. Black people. Uh, black people now. You ain't getting off the fucking hook with nothing. And hold up, Obi. I'm going to tell you. He's been doing it enough, long enough to know <clears> that <throat> if you want to trash... The other group, right. you, you do the quick, white people are, are, are you trash white people immediately, mm-hmm. NASCAR stop it. But he didn't go in depth on anything. No, no, no. But he will guarantee you go in depth on how fucked up black people are. But he, he did he a Don yeah. Imus for NASCAR. Real quick. Where he offered up NASCAR to say white people are foolish <clears throat> on this level. He could have gone off and, and, and talked and about now, the you know, NASCAR interior of, of the track barbecues and white trash any, mullet-headed any, hillbilly Any fucking reality thing. Right, any, right. any real thing. Now, this is where he gets... But he's a... He has it down pat. Now it's NASCAR stupid. All right, now let's go to black people. Yeah, he said, let's see, I can... I'd make fun... It's, 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 yeah. it's fucking comedy... Um, 101. 101, I believe. Yeah. It's Society 101, but sorry, go ahead. I yeah, exactly. First thing, mm-hmm. black people, when we go to the movies. Oh, come on. Oh, Don't just talk. Stop. You might as well just. Oh, my All God, right. Dude, no, that's hack material you know right there. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, we don't even it, have to play the rest it of it. It was funny at one point in comedy, and it, it's still in some contexts. When you're talking about the movies, it can still kind of be funny. Like, and it's like still dishonest. It's the yeah, same yeah. thing. Look, man, I, we was <clears throat> sorry. We was talking about this goddamn uh, this fucking Kanye West thing, mm-hmm. and I and I and when I heard it, you guys were talking about it. But when I heard it, and 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 celebrities booed. Mm-hmm. The reason why that was fake is because celebrities don't do anything uh, that they're not supposed to do. They you don't just boo Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? So someone gave them permission to not like Kanye West. They don't just come out and go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. Fuck you, Conway. They they <clears throat> look at every, each other and go, oh. Maybe they looked so, around and saw people going like, oh. And then they said, this is the re- you can yeah. you, you can hate now him. Yeah, we can hate. The point to saying black people talk in a the movie theater, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just, it's horseshit. That safe black, if you're going if you're gonna go in and, and talk about black people, make, make, be, be fucking honest. Because you see now, we didn't even listen if he says like, I hate when black people get up when their baby's crying and take them out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's obvious what's going to happen. Yeah. Let, it, let it play yeah. out. Here it comes. Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Right. We get it. We that get shouldn't it. get a reaction anymore in comedy. Not like that. As a throwaway, sure. The movie. The movie has words in it. We don't need your bullshit. <sighs> Dear sweet Lord Jesus, a great Christ reaction on the cross. He's killing me. <clears throat> people allow it, man. I mean, it's just people. It's people's fault that they they heard that, and it's not his fucking fault. If he he, well, he doesn't need to write well, anything, oh, fucking. God. Well, let's wrap this whole thing up. So they, I don't know, they attacked us out of nowhere because one of their guys likes to show our show. 
uh, went after us a little bit. And uh, where's Z Rock? Because now I guess now this is becoming uh, an even better bit because the hole <clears> is <throat> just 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 the hole's out of control. Out of control. She's crazy. She's crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. E Rock running is terrific. <clears throat> e to the rock. E. So what's up? Well, now the uh, the main host seems to be backpedaling and clarifying what exactly it, it is he said, but the hole seems to really not like us. Yeah, because we told him uh, to fire. Yeah, her. to fire the hole. So now she's feeling insecure, like, oh fuck, I gotta, I gotta, you know, show people that I'm, 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 I'm worth uh, yeah. sticking around. Yeah. Yep. She takes shots. The but show. now the pressure's on. They won't yeah. get rid of her. Yeah. Now, we just fucked up their whole chemistry. Trust me, because they they secretly understand that they 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 know they don't want her around. We just fucked up her world so bad. Aw, poor thing. Here's Mickey. All right, now uh, I've brought uh, inter I've brought Mike in. Yeah. Because since about seven o'clock this morning, Mike has been completely worthless to the show. Yeah. He yeah. is so worried. Worthless. So uh, distraught right now, because apparently uh, Opie and Anthony have taken what I said because their listeners call him up. That's what happens. Right. Out well, of context, explain, or whatever. You're getting rides from Mike. Right Here's now. all I said. Right. I go. I can't believe I'm driving to work at five in the morning. And and Mike, who loves Opie and Anthony, mm. is listening to the replay. I said all I said for me was, it was a little tough on the palate <laughs> hearing the c word, right? Which I can't say on this station. Of course not. You know, thirty five times at five in the morning. Oh, stop! And I said, and what I said was the bit was funny, right? But hearing that but you word, only laughed twice in what twenty minutes? No, 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 no. I mean. Hear the whole out loud. Out loud. Yeah, yeah. Internally, yeah. there's lots of laughter. Yeah, I mean, it was funny. Oh, God. oh we just fucked funny. her up. Yeah. I know what's happening here. Yep, yep. Oh, is she insecure? Aww. And she knows it's true. We're sorry. But the guys Aww. really don't want her. Sorry, baby. Oh, poor thing. And, uh, well, Mickey's not being honest there. Mickey. He sounds like a guy that enjoys edgy shit. He's... You're trying to tell me that he can't hear the C word early in the morning? It's, yeah, it's yeah. a little come too on. harsh I mean, at five in the morning? That's... What? Come on, buddy. If you, if you like if you like that type of stuff, you like it. There's, there's not a specific time where you finally start enjoying that type of thing. And, it, no. and it's more dishonesty. And, and not saying this fucking guy, I don't know the guy, yeah. but to say c word instead yeah. of cunt, like well, like, he can't say like it, you though. you can't say cunt. Right. But do you understand that saying a fucking a variation of cunt means cunts in your life? Yeah. Like <laughs> like true. n word. Oh, that, I've yeah. never heard nigger. On right. TV, right? Till I heard, till I heard N word. N word is nigga, now but I, you know what it is. But what is the context to ever say C word? See, in because it's the replacement for cunt. Of course, and and the people thinking they could get rid of the N word from our society, they they had no clue what they it were happened. doing. Because now now more oh. and more people f could say the word by saying N word. Like Patrice yeah. just said. I've never heard nigga. Right. In a broadcast, a news broadcast it's ever. Every, I've, heard, I've never heard nigga. Now you can say it. But it's everywhere. It's and motherfucking crackers invented a way to say nigga. We can right. say, yeah, no one ever said it. Yeah, that, right. No that, one said nigga. That backfired on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, <laughs> and, and, and that back, that's why I said, <laughs> Shit, that if hurt. you think they're that's trying to bring <laughs> down two, two <laughs> iconic white boys for free. Right. We, black people got to pay for this one. We got to pay for nappy headed hoe and fucking yeah, and, yeah. And, and Michael Richards, man. That's what you, we, well, I can't say Michael nigga Richard, no more, and neither can Michael you. Richards. Right. Well, well, no, he was the he was one of the sacrificial lamb. He's his. Mm. Well, he, I tell you, Imus is back with a goddamn vengeance because I think uh, Fox, Fox uh, bought his. Yeah, is picking him up. Yeah, on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these. Uh, what's that face, motherfucker? What is that? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I do to you? <laughs> just enjoy the, the show within a show, all right? You're privy f to the show within a show. <laughs> and Holy fuck. And this has now become, I'm going to say it, I don't mind Mickey now. It's all about the whole, because every clip that yeah. E-Rock just gave me, it's all about the whole trying to get her shit in there. Yeah, you know something? I, I don't I, even care about Mickey I think, anymore. I think... He seems like he's a, a pretty good stand-up. Yeah. I wish him well. I really think he should change his fucking radio voice. Just use your regular voice, bro. You'll I go a lot he was further. Wasn't get, as rid harsh. The, get rid of the hole because you know you're doing guy talk for Baltimore. No one wants to hear the stupid hole chiming in. Nobody. Trust me. That's a management mm. thing. You know it. So try to figure out a way around that. Just try. 
I think um, just try to get rid of her, and you guys, yeah, you might do all right. I don't think he was being as harsh as no. uh, well, initially. Uh, well, listen to the hole in this next clip. But when you hear the C word over and over and over, I'm just saying it. I'm yeah. barely awake. I got one eye open. So? Mike's driving me in because my freaking car's not working. And I'm just hearing that word over and over and over. Oh, a little more knowledge. Mm -hmm. And what it looks you... like it looks like Mickey and Mike both listened to our replay going to work. Wow. <laughs> and when, I thought it was and Mike when did you say cunt a lot? When was it, when was this cunt tirade? Because I, like, I know sometimes it does Honestly, get thrown around a lot, but. Uh... Big cunt, it's, it's, big cunt day. When was the big cunt day? It's rare, to be honest with you. Because when you, we're, 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 when you hear, crazy about it. Yeah, when you crazy. hear that word and we all use it, it's kind of, eh, you, you take notice that it's And it's it in the context of, of uh, at the time, if you're, if, like, you're talking about al alimony. Right. Or, yeah, yeah, you, you know, say, fuck the cunt. You know, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's very context, but... Well, hey, uh, man, you motherfuckers, man, y'all make some enemies, man. These guys in Baltimore, the guys just trying to make a living as a comic, and here you go. Hunting his morning up. Hunting up his morning. <laughs> we're going to turn Mickey around. We're going to take the high road on this. We're going we're gonna to make uh, Ricky. Because he wants an out. And I'm not we're, trying to make gonna, it say he uh, wants Mickey. an out. You can hear yeah. him wanting. He wants we're an out make, of this. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do this. Make Mickey, uh, uh, asshole pest. We're going to make Mickey popular. He's going to have to get rid of Amelia because she's a cunt. Yeah, you got to get rid of See the C word. See what I did there? You are fucking crazy. That was crazy. And I'm just hearing that word over and over and over. I'm trying to smoke and drink a coffee, and I'm like, oh, my God. And I got a pretty harsh stomach uh, palate for language. You know yeah, that. you don't care most of the time. But, yeah, it's, but, it's And I early. think it was looking at Mike's face, and it's like the way a stalker looks at its victim. Oh. <laughs> That's how Mike listens to Opie and was Anthony. Was he touching himself inappropriately? It was un I was scared to look over. Well, Mike yeah. was in the car. So yeah. So, and all I and simply... And for a guy who wants to be in terrestrial radio, for God's and sake. I man. went on to say that I think Opie and Anthony are funner than Stern. Yeah. And I like Aww. them better on terrestrial radio. All right, now we have absolutely right. no problems with Mickey. He he wants <laughs> yeah. an out. You can feel that, man. Oh, he, 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 don't, he, don't, he wants an out, uh, and that's fair. I'm, I'm this guy's trying to figure... This guy's figuring out a way to get yeah, out of this he just doesn't tough situation. He doesn't, doesn't want to deal Boy, with this. Boy, those phones must because have been ringing this he, morning, huh, Ant? He can't fight... He can't fight back the way... Like, you guys could be just so much more horrible on, on satellite yeah, than he could be on know. FM, you know what I'm saying? It is brutal, That's why right. He, he can't, can't fight. He just doesn't, no, he no. don't want to deal with that. Burn. Right. Yeah. And I like them better on terrestrial radio, Yeah. because I just thought it was, it forced them to be a little more creative. Yeah, because yeah, anybody can get on the, on it, the it takes mic. a while. No, no. Huh? And I just thought of something, too, just listening to this shit, it, it hit me. Uh, the voice, the thing that people do, it's to replace, that. it's the, it's the only emotion because you can't uh, express yourself with words. Like, you can't say descriptive words anymore. Yeah. So you only could be descriptive in your, I hate her. Yeah. And like as opposed to being and... able to say something that really, mm -hmm. how you feel and shit, man. Right. That's, uh, it's that's just true. like, that's the voice you have to have. Mm -hmm. I'm angry. That's why, that's why <laughs> black, uh, black revs fucking use the voice. And I say unto you. <laughs> yeah, they, I said they're not really saying anything, are they? <laughs> no. Come on, Patrice. <laughs> Don't say come on to me, motherfucker. I run from church. <laughs> All right, good. My All fucking right. feet stop burning as soon as I <laughs> see one. True. Ate it. Yeah, because yeah. anybody can get on the. On it, the it takes mic. a while. No, like, not anybody cuss. can. That's and, not true. Cuss. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get. Oh, we're gonna boy. get Mickey. This is my new goal to to slap this bitch live on the air. <laughs> this bitch. Is that her right there? Oh yeah, because she's still trying oh, to fight sorry. the battle. <laughs> Just looking. She's trying to Pictures. fight the battle, and uh, Mickey's basically saying, "Will you shut the fuck up?" Yeah, because yeah. anybody can get on the. On it, the it takes mic. a while. No, not anybody cuss. can. That's and, not true. And cuss. No, yeah. Yeah. that's well, not yeah. true. Listen to Brewer's show. But you, you being a, a, a non-satellite uh, listener, is definitely. A I got satellite. What are you talking about? Everybody's a non-satellite uh, listener. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's like one percent of the population has it. I don't know how many people have it. I got it. I enjoy it. I like Opie. Like I said, I like Opie and Anthony. Oh, this bitch! We got to her. You're oh, gonna be. She's not. You're gonna happy. be so fucking and he can't gone tell from her that to show. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, because we tell her to shut up. We just fucked up your chemistry with she the boys. Trust is me. Not happy. Trust me. Trust me on this. And whatever the percentage of people that get uh, satellite radio, uh, what's great for us is we're, we're known across the country with our little radio show. Yeah. I don't give a shit what percentage of the people have it. Man. A lot of people listen to the show, man. And more and more fucking people are getting satellite. And uh, the one thing I noticed uh, in, in recent weeks, you walk into businesses, it's all about satellite radio yep. now. It's everywhere in the businesses. Yeah. That's a great sign. Uh, Mickey will be shredded now the fucking hole again. That's what uh, E-Rock writes here.
I, I'm not gonna. They wanted to talk to us, but now they don't. I don't know what's going on. But they're gonna. So what's happened is, is I've become the shredding boy now on their show, right? <laughs> because now they're gonna play uh, uh, stand-up stuff of mine from YouTube. Oh yeah, and they love to take audio and just sit there and pick at it for. You know. Yeah, and I'm. I, I, look, uh, this stuff's he's, five he's years promoting old. Promoting you, yeah, but, yeah, I love it. And so they, the only reason they're talking about us is because we're on terrestrial radio. But no, what's gonna happen, Tommy? Like, <laughs> Amelia. Uh, you know, so oh, let me tell you, I, I know your name. She you doesn't get it. Hole. The reason we're not we were talking was oh because uh, we 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 assumed that uh, this dude had a problem with us. This Mickey guy. Yeah. It had nothing to do with being. A, what do you think? We we were on terrestrial. We could have gone back again. Still been on terrestrial. We had a deal. We had a yeah. We we, we fucking made the decision. This is a and, lost art saying shit. to a woman, "Shut oh, your face, I, please." Yeah, oh, Mickey, shut please up. shut Mickey's your face. Pipe down. Mickey's in hell, yeah. but he'll get out of it. <laughs> we ruined the chemistry, Amelia. Shut you your should, cookie hole, bitch. You should yeah. start making your fucking uh, demo up. tapes because uh, yeah, you're gonna be looking for work. Clam up. No, shush, we're not shush. talking about you because you're on regular radio. We didn't what, even what know about you, and you guys mentioned us, so of course it's gonna pique our interest. Even... And second of all, uh, since regular radio, we're we're still in we're st we're still in the mainstream. We we did Fallon since getting off regular radio. Ants doing the fucking uh, Sean Hannity and Red Eye all the time. It's just it's what it. We're it's very, we're still, women women we're still, are good at that shit though. Because what did that mean? My when girl she said does it, that shit all at where yeah, she. You hear Mickey's like <laughs> yep, he's like shut the fuck up. She'll fucking start to like say <laughs> the things that make you start thinking. You know, like you know, <laughs> Anthony, the way he. You know, I'm just being hypothetical. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Well, you know, I don't like. I think Opie thinks about kicking you in your legs. I listen to the show. Like, man, mm, right. you know, I'm mean, like hypothetical. She'll just throw some shit where it's just like have you go. Right. Yeah, so she's just trying to be divisive, this girl with this fucking show. No, she's pissed because she found out that we called her a hole, yep. which is the worst thing you could call a woman in broadcasting. She's but it is. She's probably like, she's I'm not playing the, the whole I'm part. The, and like, oh, she's like, like, I'm not the oh, hole. Yeah. And no dude would go. Yeah, you know, you're right. And you're They're what, jealous. You know what's going on with Mickey and Amelia here? We've all been with our girl. Oh, no. And all of a sudden you get into, the, you know, there's some, th something crazy happening in traffic and your girl decides she's going she's gonna to honk your horn for you yeah, or yeah. start screaming. And then you're like, Thank what you. the fuck? I don't want to fight the fucking Hells Angels. What's wrong <laughs> with you? Just just get that little and that's good at it. And that's what Amelia is trying to do. And Mickey's like, shut the fuck yeah. up. You got to say thanks. Yeah, for shut up. Shut thanks for helping, up. beautiful. But shut your fucking mouth. Exactly. Shut up. Because guys know uh, when we're battling, you, you size up the dude. Like, I can't fight fucking beat this guy up so i'm backing down it's nature he and he was trying to give himself a respectable <laughs> out a respectable out which we all do in, 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 in the is, real world but he needs it i don't need the trouble <laughs> well here's uh <laughs> producer mike who's the super fan oh no it wasn't my car i can't turn the radio off dum dum yeah he was getting a ride from mike and mike is completely addicted to these guys <laughs> just so bothered. <laughs> bothered. <laughs> oh we just ruined your chemistry with the boys and let's be honest, though. I can't though, wait to see how this plays out. Yeah, and let's be honest, though. We, you got to be honest. If fucking Steve comes in and goes, boy, that fucking man cow, man. I can't get enough of him. You, you'd go, what? You would go, Steve, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, I mean, that has to annoy him that their, their producer listens to o Opie and Yeah, Anthony. but the other guy. It has to. But the other guy listens. He just can't really openly admit that. Because he's got to be, you know, the guy. Because he's a, a radio guy. show. I mean, shit. But he obviously listens. If he, he was a lifeguard, this wouldn't be a problem. He's a fucking, he's a peer. And, and, and he's very competitor. aware. He's very aware of what we do. I, I, who gives a, I don't care about him anymore. I just want to hear Amelia. A ride from Mike, and Mike is completely addicted to these guys. Anyway, back to Opie and Anthony, who I said are funny. Did I not? <laughs> you also I, said man, that you're man. funnier than both of them. As stand-up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. I, I would agree with that. And yeah. And, I'm not arguing that. And Jim Norton. No, I said I'm not funnier oh, okay. than Jim Norton. I just want to clear that. No, I, you did. No, but I'm, but he's, I think, he's like so nervous that we're going to say yeah. something are that's going to like offend them or set them Mike, off. Mike, are you trying to get a job with them no, or something? Not I didn't even bring this up today. I just... Don't oh, we got another call, Mike. Maybe it's an Opie <laughs> Anthony listener. 98 Rock, good morning. <laughs> Oh, I guess that was getting a little, uh, yeah. little hectic over there. And yeah, someone, he just, he someone, just it, it happens, man. Yeah. And, and someone was trying to like uh, s say that uh, we don't have pests anymore. Yeah, trust me. We really? Do. Yeah, there's a few Believe guys me. that think that whole movement's gone. Yeah, that Twitter it, issue, and boy, holy shit, yeah, did not, they unload? It's not God, trust me. Uh, all right, and then Mickey saying O and A mad for the wrong reasons. Whatever's going to happen to me today on their show, I, I already know I'm getting shredded. Right. So whatever, well, I don't no, care. But at the same time, Mike, I want you to take a deep breath. Your radio career is going to be fine. 
if Opie and Anthony are mad at me. I know. It's just, you Boy, know. Well, then I he hate... can't call the show anymore and tell them how much he loves it. And them. here's no, the funniest I, part. I, 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 They're I, mad. I, <laughs> she's so mad. <laughs> you got to love, love that it. She though. gets mad. Oh, she's all spunky. You got to love how mad she is. <laughs> she's spunky. That's what, it's so easy to get to a woman. Yeah, she's, broadcast she's really pissed. You gotta so love. So easy. You got to love how fuck. <laughs> you got. She's fucking oh, she hilarious. Mad. Hilariously angry, man. We just fucked up her world. Oh, she you can't mad. call the show anymore and tell him how much he loves and it. And here's no, the I, funniest I, part: I never they're mad at me for the wrong reason. Yeah. They think right. I was oh, trashing man. them. This is what happened. O and A's producer calls up. He's like, "Hey, you guys want to talk to the guys?" And we're like, "I said right away." I go, "Yeah, totally." I think what they were expecting is us to go no. What? So that they could go back on the air and be like, oh, and they won't talk to us. I think right. now they're that's not calling the whole back. Thing. No, that's now, not here's, true. here's what happens. I think our history proves that we've talked to a bunch of these shows before. What happened? Did Steve jump the gun and actually call first and then come and say, do you guys want to talk? Is that what fucking happened? Because, first of all, it doesn't make sense to get into a uh, running discussion with these jocks that we have fights with until a base has been set. You know, like like we're we're running the audio with them. Then we have to comment, and then in the future, if things keep you keep bumping heads, then you might get the live phone call on the line to yell at each other. That's usually how these things play out. But did Steve see the second we start talking about it? Steve jumps the gun and makes the phone call no, instead no, no. of coming in can here I, and going. Can I can I snitch on Steve? What, did, what? I don't want to be a snitch, but I, I was snitch. I was sitting there. Steve got them on the phone. The producer. Why? Knew Steve, uh -huh. and Steve said, "Would it be okay? For, would those would Why? the guys come on? They, he did Why this is before, he that, but he did this before you knew." Before you even knew about this shit, he yeah. had. Well, why wouldn't that? But, seems, but I think it's not bad. He's something to ask us. But he was setting up. Would you get on the phone just in case you motherfucker? Because Steve it, knows your history. If it's De Niro or something, then fine. Right. If it's a couple of jocks that are uh, uh, perhaps. Or allegedly giving us a bad time, uh, then you know maybe we wanted to play out a little first, and 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 let the the listeners know what it is, it's all about. Yeah. I say Steve jumped the gun on that one, because then it makes us look silly. Steve, what'd you do? Steve. Hello. You... Um, the first thing I said was I tried to find out what exactly sparked the discussion. That lasted about three seconds because the guy recognized my voice. True that. And. Uh, and asked if it was me, and I was like, ah, "Is this shit. a homosexual?" <laughs> no, that's oh. not what he said. Oh, I thought. He said um, that. And it, the it, 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 he explained the whole backstory, and down the line, I said, "Well, listen, I don't know how this is going to play out. Would you guys get on the phone if 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 it boils over?" And the guy says, "I don't know. I'll ask." And that's when we we brought the stuff to you, Steve. Just tell him the complete truth. That is the complete truth. Oh my was sitting there. Yeah, that's here's exactly what, what happened. Here's what he's adding. He's being he's he's being honest except for one thing. What yeah, I said. We have a witness today. His rules. It, he, the but only his he's, he's, he's Steve's nervous for some reason. I don't know why. He always is. But, I always is. But I always but I always in always case this always. boils over, yeah, is pre pretext to something. He it wasn't in case it boiled over. It was would you guys get on the phone? Um, and talk to the guys. Right. He was setting mm -hmm. up the live confrontation. So there wasn't any it wasn't, just in case or it later wasn't as, on as, if. Or... Uh, as architecturally structured right, right. as he's, because he's trying to make it. But if, all you got to do is say, Steve, St he, he did jump the gun. Little but bit. but he was trying to he was it, it was all in the best nature of the fucking show. Because now... he was on the phone. Let me say this in his behalf. Uh -huh. He was on the phone for fucking 10 minutes. Trying to make check these these this Baltimore show See? that's trashing uh, my guys. See, so now, he's, he was being a loyal guy. But listening to this now, it gives them it gave them a little bit of ammo. Yeah, of it course. made it seem like we reached out to call them, and then we said, "Oh, they're going to talk to us." Oh, fuck this, because we 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 normally just want to go. Oh, they didn't even want to talk to us. No. And then they say, "All right, we'll talk to you," and then we don't talk to them. It makes us look bad. You so think, in that I mean, situation, uh, you, you should come in here first and say, okay. hey, guys, do you want to talk to those guys? And we'll go, no, we don't want to talk to mm -hmm. them. We, we're just going to fucking play their shit. We're going to rap about them a little bit, and uh, our listeners will fucking pest, pester them a bit. And then that's it. More importantly, why does he have a T-shirt that says pot roast muscle? 
It says East Coast muscle. Oh, well, the E, I'm not even joking, because the E looks like a P, and the mic, and the mic was covering oh. up the, <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't see the S in there. It looked like it said pot roast muscle. No, it says East Coast oh my muscle. God. Steve, Steve Carlisi is a, is a O&A soldier, my friend. All right. Thank you, Good Patrice. Enough. Let's, you let's. We're running out of show, unfortunately. So we only have six minutes left. We have two minutes of clips. Then we have to try line of the day and get the fuck out of here with Patrice O'Neill's plugs. Let's oh, go. shit. Let's go. Yo, oh, shit. That's what I'm going to tell you. So the producer calls. Right. Hey, do you want to go on with the guys? Mike's like, do you want to go on? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, let's talk it out, right? Let's see what happens. Sure. And so then they, he goes, all right, I'll call you back. Well, then he called back and he's like, I don't know if they want to go on. Here's what I think he was trying to do. I think he was trying to get our hotline number so they could jam that too. Because he's like, well, can we call you guys? And I'm like, well, I'll call you. So why right. don't you give me a number? And I, is that eventually his producer? I gave him my cell phone number. Mm -hmm. Right. See, so now his producer. I was there. No, yeah, I was waiting for that. They can't give I, guess... I don't know if they... Dude, no one tells the truth in radio, His fucking all. producer was that's, going... That's what drives me <laughs> fucking nuts. He was doing what Steve was just doing in here. They both were going... <laughs> to each other. I was. I heard this shit. Can we trade? <laughs> he did not go, Hey, motherfucker, I'll call you back. He, they both go... <laughs> They both were. E-Rock, you might be out. We got a new fanboy that wants to work for this show. Wow. I gotta, yeah. I, we got to hire this guy. Mike guy. Maybe we could do a trade. Right. This guy, this producer for uh, E-Rock and 20 interns to be la named later. <laughs> Lamed Nader. We'd have to give up a lot. <laughs> 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 That'll probably, no, not yet. I was waiting for that. They but can't give I, I don't know if they, I guess they could. The producer's a nice guy. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. So but. Mike hangs up the phone and goes, oh, my God. I just and talked to O&A's he's producer. Right now, he's choosing his words so, so carefully wisely. because he knows they're listening and he doesn't want to agitate them. What is wrong with you? I have just... The Listen to me. Just, the producer's a nice guy. I know he won't do that. <laughs> Listen, Opie and Anthony are <laughs> such a dick. Listen. You're such a pussy. You're a pussy. <laughs> but here... I don't. Listen. What are you fire. afraid of? You're all right. You're, you're playing with fire. fire. Listen, they who done. gives a... I almost heard. Right. Who gives a crap? Listen, what are you... Listen, he changes you're like, He goes like this earlier. He goes... They're going to shut down our show. <laughs> They're going to shut it down. I, I said they'll no no bonk the phone lines. That's so what? Nice. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, Mikey knows our show. I like, like Mikey now. I like him, too. He's fine by me. Hell, yeah. Mickey, Best of luck to you. So far, Mickey, Mickey. All right. Amelia, a cunt, and Spiegel. I don't know who you are because I, I don't, don't even know. know if you're talking. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, Ona better than Stern. Whoa, we got to play this clip. But what did I say earlier? I said wow. having the guy, every guy call in pretending to be Larry King was hilarious. Right. <laughs> oh. See, the guy listens Thank to our you. show a lot. No, that's a compliment. That's funny. A lot that's of people, a very a lot of people bit, liked that. That's very recent. Liked that bit. Right. That was they're funny. hilarious. He ruined it today. Right? I, I know. I, I, the, oh, I said they're better than Stern. I Scott disagreed with me. Now they're going to go on and trash me because I said the, the hearing the, the C word 50 times from yeah. my house to here was just a rough start to the morning. And what made it, what compounded it and made it worse cunt, 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 was cunt, cunt. watching you drool. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like Opie and Anthony here dog. Like, it, like Opie or Anthony. Yeah, like, I can't, it's it's just, I can't imagine. It's like if you had, I know you're a caller to that show sometimes, but if you had some personal relationship and you were worried about offending them. I want you to get up right now, and I want you to go to your car, and I want you to listen to that show until we get into entertainment, about 10 minutes. Okay. And then I want you to come back and tell me what's going on. Okay. I, because I know it's driving you crazy that you can't listen right now. And so go out to your car. They're going to replay it 20 times today. That's the only comment that they fact, have. Mike, in fact. Yeah. She really, she really, really wants to go. She really, she really, really yeah. wants to yeah. go. Really, yeah. Amelia. God, she wants to go. She wants to go we, at really? your fucking faces. Aww. First of all, we do. Uh, What's the matter? The word cunt hit home. She's gonna yeah. scratch her eyes out. Uh, she's yeah. Because that's all we have. What are we supposed to do? Stay on twelve hours a day? We got lives. That's terrible. Oh, Amelia. But I can understand Amelia, the other guy. Yeah, the Amelia, I don't know the names, but the the I think guy, Mickey. M Mickey. He's, yeah, he. He's it, right. he got, it, here's what happened. He saved face. A burst of uh, just a burst of. Why don't you stop fucking sweating? It's, it's like my girl goes. I love Carmelo Anthony. Boy, he has nice muscles. So what, bitch? So what? My belly buttons are any. <laughs> and that's what happens. Set the fuck up and stop telling me about somebody else's radio show. Hey, Ron and Fez are back live, so we could go a few extra minutes, right? Okay. Because uh, I, I know last week when they were on vacation, it was a hard out. Yeah, we're going to go a couple you, extra minutes here. If you that's out of right your mind? Everybody. Well, you know. Why? Because then tomorrow we get to leave early and no one could yell at but us. But we never really do. Out. Tomorrow, 10.05. Really? I, you I, get I, roll I over promise. time, motherfuckers? Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> kind of. <laughs>
That's what we do now. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, so where are we at with this? Uh, Mickey, we'll leave Mickey alone. Amelia, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll tell you this much. Mickey, you get rid of the hole. You know you don't want to be doing radio with the hole. Mike's listening, by the way. What's up, Mike? Make sure Mickey uh, hears this. Yeah. Uh, if you get rid of the hole, we will uh, we will promote the shit out of you guys. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Just dump her. You'll do so much better. And b- believe me, by the way, let me let me. Just I know you. I know you don't want Amelia. They know. They know. I know you're this new. I, it sounds like you're new to to uh, radio or at least Baltimore radio. Get rid of her. They know this too. You yeah. know what they do when when the guys are just hanging out? They're like. Oh God! Did you hear what the fuck she said today? <laughs> believe me, and and I'm not just saying this to like try to stir shit up, but believe me, it does happen. I've never seen a case where the guys don't get together and then go, "Did you hear what that idiot bitch said today?" Yeah. God, we were rolling, and then she just fucking put the handbrake on, the big fucking train handbrake. Yeah, we're on a roll. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, the hole, the hole up in their mouth. And and we're they v- want to get rid of her, but like the, the they will the program director it, and shit. It's not going to be the program like, director. Eh. She's gonna she's gonna crack. It's it's a chemistry now, chemistry thing now. Yep. We really fucked up their chemistry, and now we're way too busy. So if you guys in Baltimore and the Baltimore area could kind of keep us abreast of the situation, because yeah. this will end. Uh, with her leaving the show, the one whole way or will another. leave, and it'll be like, oh, it was uh, you know, uh, they all agreed that it would be best if she moved on. There'll be right. some kind of um, fake story. Our new bit is uh, get rid of the hole, radio. Get rid of the hole. <laughs> Lose the hole. Lose the hole. Yeah, Lose that's, the hole. I like that. That's it. My, I think my brother Elmo can make a shirt. It's Lose, Lose the, hole. the Hole, and we try to get um, radio shows to see the light. It's not like we have this power that we can have people uh, get rid of their holes on the show, but we're ju- we just want you to identify how unfunny mm-hmm. and how much of a detriment to a funny show they are. You sound like uh, actually a bunch of guys that are hanging out and having a good time. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck would you want a-, a chick there to fuck the whole thing up? And that's why... You're being held back. You're yep. being held back until you get rid of her because there's a lot of shows like yours where yeah. you're edgy, but then she has to but, jump oh, in. Oh, that's a good thing. And, and the, uh, the management will always say, no, that's a good thing. Yeah, it a... tames that. It, it makes it like someone's in charge and the women listen. They No, it's a bad thing. It's kryptonite. Amelia, Amelia, Amelia. Just look at her. Look at her right now. Go ahead. I'll give you a minute. Ho- hold on. Hold on. Because they'll, they'll listen to this tape. Look, <laughs> look, look at her. Look at her. She's ruining your show. <laughs> You sound like fun guys. He said, look at it. I didn't even know you what he You sound doing. like fun look guys look that, like, can hang, uh, talk about fucking cool shit. Nothing worse than an aging rocker, too. She's you an aging want... rocker. Yeah, that's... Uh... Look at her. Oof. Uh, oh, yeah, boy. You don't want to... Um... Yeah, wow. What are you going to do? It's... Eh, come on. Everyone needs, you know, everyone needs a gig. She's, a, she's, a, uh, you know. she's an aging rocker. I mean, she's so bad in real life that her picture on the website has to be cartoony. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, look, we did the same thing. <laughs> well, we never claimed to be fucking, you know, GQ models. I remember once uh, we did. Oh, uh, one time. Teasing, yeah, you're of right. course. No, you're right. I don't know. I've never um, seen any other pictures besides that, so I can't really make a judgment. But I do. I do um, her Master. personality is ugly. Yuck. She has an ugly personality Yuck. because all she can do now is bitch about us when when they're talking about the show they're actually having an honest open conversation about the program which is fine is that her oh, no that's couldn't be some porno star there. oh that's a porn star mm. all right when we uh, do line of the day get the hell out of here i know that uh mickey we're cool but then. if you don't get rid of the hole one way or another then we're not cool yeah that's how we Mick, play mickey's all right i got no problem mickey we know you want to get rid of her so we're we're kind of yeah. doing this with you buddy blame us right Make it like management listened and saw the light because they're such puppets or whatever. And they, oh, they listened to ONA or something. Just blame us for whatever you need to to get rid of her because she's really holding you guys back. Mm-hmm. I, I think I, I'm hearing good things. Yeah, it's not bad. Except for, you know, her. Ugh. And the radio voice. Tone that down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. All right, Ant. Uh, line of the day time. Um, why don't we just get right into this? A runner-up line of the day. Stephen King's the horror writer. The horror writer? Okay, Stephen King. You read any of his books growing up? Never read them. Why? They're always a movie. (laughs) That's what I say. (laughs) What? Nothing. It was just abruptly. It kind of ended abruptly. Well, I I like that they're almost lines now. That is true. It's a paragraph of the fucking day. Patrice is going to be at the punchline Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in San Francisco. In San Francisco, yes. Thank you, Ope. 
Please go out and uh, see Patrice. Yeah. You getting big crowds on the road, Patrice? Not bad. They they sputter in and it, it's, it's respectable. <laughs> it's respectable. Are you all right? What do you mean? I wish I was filming when you were commenting about which girls you could still get. When uh, uh, yeah, that was good. Here in New York, I don't know if they do it uh, everywhere else, but Wendy Williams is on. Well, I know the show's everywhere, but here locally, they do kind of a warm up show. They kind of show the crowd getting ready for Wendy Williams, and they do they make it kind of like a, a nightclub, and all the girls are dancing. And they got a DJ and stuff, right? Really getting the crowd pumped. That's a smart idea. And Patrice was like uh, pointing out the broads that were dancing, going, "See that fat mess? That's all I could get now." That's it. That's, That's the me. energy. That's me. That's the energy. I got like this one bitch that loves me. That you know, she's eight years in, and then it's like if the twenty year old girls that I see at the mall. Like I said, <laughs> when, I, when I try to wear my my nice hat and my mysterious attitude, nothing. Yeah. I got no strength anymore. Yeah. All I am now is, hey, bitch, look, do you know what? Uh, <laughs> I'll ask him, you ever heard of a sugar daddy? <laughs> that's a motherfucker that buys you books. And then I say, go Google the word pride and see if that's worth <laughs> oh, missing out <laughs> on that's all good. these goodies I'll buy you. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I'm, I'm being called a liar. I'm not what? lying. I'm, I'm not, not lying. lying. DL from uh, Butler, New Jersey. <laughs> Butler. Opie, you fucking liar. You yelled, I could have been a model at a caller. Ah, uh, you did. I, I did think, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think you did. You are a cutie pie. You, used to be. Oh, no, you're still cute. Oh, I'm in the used to be category. Oh, <laughs> oh. You still got your little bang and everything. It's still there. Bangs? Like your little thing. You still got hair that that's... Uh, you don't uh, have the... I don't uh, see it. The not... You know, it uh, might be the not sure it's falling out, but it's uh, not... It's not all the way there. I got some voodoo going on. And if it, if it goes I push this forward, I push this to the left, I move this over to the right. If it comes to it, motherfucker. I pull it from the back slightly. <laughs> cash in that self-respect and tell Anthony to give you that number. <laughs> you, you, you know, as much as I've beat Anthony up, you don't think I'm taking a look and, and, and yeah. paying close attention? He's almost back at mullet status. <laughs> That motherfucker. Hey, look no, I, gotta get, I need a haircut. <laughs> You're scared to get a haircut after I need a haircut. spending all that money. You want to make sure it grows back <laughs> oh, again. I to grow in like fucking the old rot gut band days <laughs> and then when I was a in a band. <laughs> then you go, you know what? I think this procedure actually worked. I think I can get a haircut. I think I get a haircut. Oh, I get in the morning, I take a brush. <laughs> Sorry, Amelia, fucking that would be a jacuzzi or oh, fucking, yeah, exactly. or fucking whatever's going on. <laughs> I, I want to apologize to uh, Amelia for oh, being, wow. you know, we're being very funny <laughs> just off the cool. cuff. Nothing's written down. We're just fucking around with uh, Patrice here. Why don't we do another runner-up line of the day? You about a piece of shit, little white girl. Beyonce, kick your ass. This is like, this is pretty close to like Sleeping Beauty, just sleeping away, waiting for her prince, and there's a home invasion while she's sleeping. Oh, <laughs> 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 good. That was me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Thank going? you. Where the hell did these pictures come from? Is that what the fuck is that? That was uh, one of our gigs way back in '92. Who's that? Is that Opie? How no, is that me? Look close. That's, that's me Anthony and my brother Joe. And brother Joe. Oh, how God. the fuck is that that's, me? Fucking Anthony looks like. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That's back in fucking. Oh my God! The old days. <laughs> I got big afro. You look like. Weird Al Howard Sternovich. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was another runner-up line of the day. Oh, you don't have to cut you it got up. an extra line, yeah, well, fucking line of the day. And, Jesus. And we're not even supposed to be on the radio anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. Bravo, Patrice. Good God, oh, mother of Jesus, man. Punchline, Patrice O'Neill oh, telling you, good. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> Patrice doesn't have to write half his shit down. He just goes up there and, and, and brings the funny. God damn. What are we up to, Travis? One more runner up? Uh. If it is, well, let's do it. Gave me a load of ear bashing, too. <laughs> Wouldn't stop a fucking ear bashing. Oh, well, I uh. busted up a frickle. Didn't use no franger, neither. <laughs> <laughs> that can be pretty funny. I've never heard a call that before. Frickle. Oh, that's hilarious! Ah. I want to. I want to say hi to our uh, our uh, a brand new name checking in. Anthony, Pot Roast Muscle from Woodside. Oh, writes. E Rock should name his first girl 
Amelia. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's, That's really good. Uh, meal. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready for line of the day? We got to get the fuck out of yeah. here for Ron and Fez. Hit it. Here comes line of the day. Line of the day. What about Not Jurassic Park? Eight. That's a great yeah, but the, fucking name. That's a great name before you know that the movie was going to be a 2020? No. Jurassic yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park is Jurassic a Park. great name. Nah, man. Jurassic you Park think? is good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the sci-fi movies would name it Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got right when I was 12 years old. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, that's that's your choice. new board nice. thing, man. I know oh, that fantastic. fucking shit is coming every week. You that's fu- Dinosaur right, Forest. Right. We, uh... It's so fucking funny. I'm Dinosaur right. Forest. <laughs> Dino- that's what it would be. We developed the most creative bits when Patrice is in. I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> like that came out of nowhere. The fucking the country music thing that we do, we got to bring that back. And then uh, one of my favorites, the uh, eating of the exotic animal bit. That There's came a out of fucking nowhere. Motherfucker still will come up in the street and talk about that cheetah that, heels, really? and koala yeah, cheetah noses. heels. <laughs> Motherfuckers will forgot still, about that. Yeah, that shit comes from a place you can't. Good. You can't think that shit out ahead of time if you listen to that again real quick yeah. i'm telling there's parts of that that it's it's funny the whole thing is absurd but it's parts of that when you get in depth to how they kill animals and oh they take the God. most important part which is the blowhole of the whale <laughs> right. i'm telling you it was social commentary <laughs> yeah, <it> was. <laughs> what do you say about the uh the whale you you, you, you take the blowhole and it can't close it, and it can't no more close it and out. so it just has to sit at the top of the water so you're just wasting this massive animal <laughs> just to get the dumb little blowhole and then it goes underneath the water and <laughs> Sinks right. as you just del- <laughs> just there's a pile of whales at the bottom of the ocean because we have to eat the blowhole <laughs> with soy sauce. Right. <laughs> that bit is one for the ages, my friend. Patrice, have fun in San Francisco. We'll see you soon. Absolutely, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you thank very you, much. Sir. All uh, right. Why do we? We should just have Take Patrice come back in. You want to do another day this week, Patrice? I'm leaving Wednesday. I can come back tomorrow if you have me. Who's in tomorrow? I don't know yet. See hey, you know, I would love to take advantage of Patrice O'Neill. Jimmy's back. What Thursday, right? Uh, Jay Leno, tonight, everyone watch, man. Leno's been great to this show over the years. Uh, he starts at 10 o'clock tonight. He's got Jerry Seinfeld, Jay-Z with Rihanna, and is this great for Jay Leno? Kanye West. God damn, so a the lot of people are going to be there, fucking huh? watching Jay Leno tonight. What a great way to there. start. And then tomorrow, little Jimmy Norton's going to be on Jay Leno for uh, his first time as with the new format. Michael Moore and Tom Cruise and Jim Norton. Holy mother of God. So support Jay Leno. He's been great to us. See you guys tomorrow.